Damas y caballeros, it's time. It's time. Hold on tight for the best behind the mic. El guapo. El guapo. El mejor. Ay, guapo. Yeah, what's good, team? Salute and salutations. Welcome to Beautiful Eyes, where the price for admission is your like and subscription. I'm your not so humble host, and this is Late Night with El Guapo team. Boy, this is going to be a good week, a goodie, but it might be a little bit rough. Your boy, I got, I got a real, you know how sometimes people will put their uh, the inside of their pocket is lined to look like a pocket square. I got a real kerchief in there just in case. You see, the inside of this gel is is the purple line, and so I got one I can pull out. But uh, yeah, we're going to talk about the Godfather himself, man. We're going to talk about the good brother Kevin Samuels. Um, may he rest in peace and power tonight. And um, there's a little history behind this live stream. While I was in the Philippines uh, about a week and a half ago, um, the Blizzard King himself, shout out to Dennis Burling, did an interview with the young lady that spent the last day and the last hours with uh, the Godfather, Hortensia Alcantara. I know I'm saying your name wrong, man. Please forgive me. I don't have the uh, the native Spanish tongue like I should, but um, and uh, it was a powerful, powerful interview, and I, I finally had a chance. I watched bits and pieces of it while I was in the Philippines, um, and I finally had a chance to uh, finish it up this past weekend. And uh, man, there are so many gems. Yo, shout out to the Godfather, man. There are so many gems that he left, not just in his words, but also his actions. So first things first, I want to ta thank uh, attorney Dennis Sperling for granting me permission to use uh, footage from the interview uh, to offer some commentary and some insight on. You know, I'm trying to read between the lines a little bit. Um, I did have to cut it up. And I'm going to be honest, we're probably going to have to do this in a two parter because there's so much dense material in there. So uh, let's plan on doing a two-parter on this. Um, and uh, I also want to thank Miss Alcantara for being brave enough to step up and uh, enter the lion's den and talk about this and help give some closure to those of us that were, you know, um, supporters of Kevin Samuels and things that he did and uh, things that he taught. So I thank you both very, very much. Uh, Dennis, once again, thank you so much my friend, uh, I appreciate it, man. So uh, thank you. But uh, listen, so we're going to have to do this. Uh-oh. My bad. I hit, You know how you hover over the little, uh, for those of you that are Windows users, you hover over the little uh, desktop thing on the taskbar and your whole screen goes away? Bruh, <laughs> I just did that. I was like, oh my gosh, I lost everything. But we're going to have to do this a certain way. But I want to first things first, I got to acknowledge my main man in the chat. The very first super chat of the evening. Shout out to my brother JT Coin Rings in the building with the $2 super chat. Praise God. Says hello, El Guapo on chat. Salute, salute to you too. Baltimore's finest. Yeah. Hit the button, El Guapo. Big girl, big, big girl, big girl, big, big girl. So yeah, uh, we're uh, we're going to have a good time tonight, and I'm so glad that my main man, my day one, JT, is in the building. JT, thank you for rocking with me from day one. Uh, for those of you that are not subscribed to my brother up there in Baltimore, please go over, uh, subscribe, like, comment, share, tell him El Guapo sent you. You know what you get for that first Super Chat of the evening. You get the left, the right, and the center. Boom! Salute to you. Yeah, shout out to JT Corn Rings and shout out to my main man, non Peril Comics. We're going to be talking about non Peril Comics. Now, I said I was going to do it today, but this one kind of popped up and I really want to stay focused on this. So non Peril and 48 Laws, please grant me a little bit of grace. We are going to do what I said we were going to do by the end of this week. That is a promise. With the $2 Super Chat. Extra Brazil. Says you bring so much light into a world of pee and poop. Yeah, I try, man. Listen, we just, you know, we're exposing these uh, beautiful lies that are out here that keep us hindered and shackled and stuff like that. Uh, and at the same time, yo, you know, um, 
we show you that there are options out there that can help you to get to where you want to be. And tonight's interview is, is, is going to be a part of that. It's going to blow you away. It's going to blow you away. Shout out to you, Nonpareil. You get the bazooka. Salute to you both. Salute to you both. Thank you so much. So watch this team. <clears throat> How do I want to say this? Here's what I want to say. I want to say that um, we're really going to get into it and have a good time tonight. And we're going to go over some stuff. And I'm going to point out some things that you probably did not notice, did not know, did not hear, things that you just weren't unaware of. and. Fellas, <laughs> it's so encouraging to know that Kevin Samuels walked it like he talked it. It's so encouraging to know. You know how they say to never meet your heroes? Listen, if you ever meet me, you're going to be very disappointed. You'll be like, man, old El Guapo, he ain't ish, man. But Kevin, he walked it like he talked it. And when you hear Miss Alcantara's uh, assessment and... Uh, recollection of those last that last day and a half with Kevin you're going to see exactly what I'm talking about so out of respect for her and everything you know I'm going to I'll read super chats and everything I promise I'll get to all the the uh king's ransom tips but I'm probably going to stay away from the dancing girls while uh, I'm reviewing the interview just out of respect for her I don't want you know uh her to get clipped up with that and stuff like that you know and once again I want to respect Dennis for letting me do that. So here's what I'll do. Um, team, we have about 120 people in here. Likes are a little bit low, yo. I'd love to get about 20 more likes, so I'll make you a deal. I'll make you a deal. If you don't do this to me. You think you can do this to me? And if you get these likes up, and if you aren't a bunch of so-and-sos. Oh, you motherfuckers. <laughs> okay. Yeah, if you guys will do your part, I'll play the dance of girls. Let's get, uh, I'll play it and then we'll get into the interview. <clears throat> and maybe, just maybe, I got a new one for you. But uh, yeah, let's get up to uh, 85 likes. We're 10 away. Let's get up to 85 likes. How's your day going? Did you guys have a good weekend? I had a great weekend. Hanging out with my daughters is always a blast. My uh, 13 year old, little bit under the weather, little under the weather. But uh, yeah, team, we're almost there. Hit that like button. But uh, yeah, it was uh, it was a great time. And um, like I said, I had an opportunity to actually listen to this full interview. And I highly encourage I need to do this. And Dennis, I'll do this. I highly encourage you all um, to go over and watch this full interview, because like I said, I had to clip it up, just had to clip it up. So um, but uh, I appreciate you all. Thank you so much. Shout out to zero three four one sleepy in the building. <laughs> With the $10 super chat, praise God. Says El Guapo, glad you made it back safe. Just finished taking two midterms, working on my second master's. Wow. wow. That's awesome. Can't wait to enjoy the stream and get some good game, man. Uh, you ask and I shall deliver, man. I appreciate that $10 super chat, Mr. Zero Three. I'm assuming you're a Mr. Zero Three Four One Sleepy. Congrats on getting those midterms taken care of. Uh, for your second master's, man. Keep pushing, man. Be the better option. Be that better option. Miss Hortensia was the better option. You're going to see. So uh, shout out to you. Thank you so, so much. You get the book nuke. One more like and we'll have 100 and I'll play them dancing girls for you. Oh boy. Oh boy. One more like. There it is. And three, two, one. Bang. Bang. Bang! Nani? Tangling. Tangling. Yeah! Shout out to y'all. Thank you so much for hitting them likes, man. Let's get right into it. <laughs> I told you. I told you. You ask. And you shall receive. I deliver, baby. I deliver. I deliver. <coughs> of course, now I got a little frog in my throat. What is going on? What is going on? But uh, listen, so team, we're going to get right into it because we have a, a good amount of content that we've got to review. 
and I went digging in the archives, man. I pulled up some stuff. Man, let's not, let's not belabor the point. Let's get right into it. Here we go. Welcome back to the broadcast. This is Dennis Sperling. And uh, as promised, uh, I'd like to welcome a young lady who, uh, who has uh, been waiting for a while to uh, speak her piece. And I'd like to say thank you for coming. Shout out to uh, Janet. Would you like to introduce yourself, ma'am? Yeah, so thank you for having me. My name is Hortensia Alcantara. And, you know, I, I grew up in the state of Kansas, and I'm currently a full-time travel nurse, and I'm just, just a little nervous. <laughs> a little nervous. Team, so I did my editing kind of quick today because I had a, a lot of work to do. Drop me a one if you can hear both Dennis and Miss Hortensia um, uh, well. Drop me a one if you can hear her well, both of them. Thanks. Yeah. Well, Yeah. I'm going to tell you, like I told, um, like I told these folks here, I, I tried to talk you out of this because you don't owe these folks any explanation. I see the ones. Thank you. you know, as far as I'm concerned, and those of us who uh, truly appreciated Kevin Samuels, um, you know, you're a hero, and we appreciate what you did for him. You know, and Dennis is so spot on. Remember, we're not going to talk about this until tomorrow, but remember he said that she's a hero. Remember that. And, and, and his last moments um either way so and i believe you you pronounce your name hortensia alcantara is that right yes it's, it's hortensia alcantara but okay. the english version i have to say hortensia okay okay so uh you're from you, the midwest you said what, what was it kansas yeah i grew up in the midwest uh, okay. i grew up in kansas how Shout do you out to get Kansas. A name like Hortensia Alcantara and live in Kansas because people from Kansas, <laughs> Rhonda and Becky <laughs> and Linda. So check this out. Let's talk about Kansas just real fast. Um, I just got back from the Philippines, and if you listen to a lot of these uh, content creators, these expats and everything over in the Philippines, this is kind of the same thing. I would say. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> This is the same thing I would say about Brazil and Colombia um, is that if you really want to find those diamonds in the rough, um, you have to go and uh, travel outside of the big cities and stuff like that. You have to go and do that. Um, and Kansas would be like the province of the Philippines, you know, uh, to find those hidden gems, those women that uh, have preserved the things that men find very important. So uh, I find it very interesting that's, that Miss Alcantara, I, th I think she says Alcantara, Miss Alcantara is uh, from Kansas, home of Superman. Shout out to her. I got to do this. I'm so sorry. Daggone it, man. I can't even get the thing started, brother. I can't get it started. This is not a test. This Man. Is emergency broadcast system announcing the commencement oh my of the goodness. Purge, sanctioned by the US government. Weapons Shout out to my main man, Jim1263, in the building. Praise God. With the $100 King's Ransom, yeah. <laughs> Says, salute El Guapo, only 30 days until I make my escape for three weeks. Hallelujah. Praise God. That's what I'm talking about, man. Thank you so, so much. Hang on one second. Oh, we, we, dropped, the, we dropped the wrong one. Hang on one second. One second. Team. Says, uh, thought I would drag my dusty boots through your studio. Just here stretching out and having a beverage. Thank you for all you do. Yeah. <laughs> That's my dog. My nigga. <laughs> Now, I want to drag the boots for you, man. Jim, can you wait until we get through? Let me just wait until we get through the interview with her because I don't want to show too many shaking booties, man. I just don't want to do it. Just out of respect to her and everything. And I know you can understand that, brother, but I promise you. <coughs> excuse me. 
I promise you, I will give it to you uh, at the end of the stream, pause. I'll give it to you at the end of the stream. But look, here's what we'll do. We'll let you fly out, man. Shout out to my man, Jim1263, bro. I'm so happy for you, dog. You're planning your escape, bro. You're planning your escape. Let's get it. Jim, 1263, the new stream sponsor, man. Brother, I appreciate you so much for this love and support. Everybody drop a Jim, 1263 in the chat. That's my dog. My nigga. <laughs> Come on, y'all. Drop them gems in the chat, man. Yo, at least to celebrate that he is getting out of here, man. My dude is flying out. God bless Jim and God bless the passport, Rose. Next time we're on a plane, everybody scream it out. Jesus, walk. God, show me the way, because the devil tried to break me down. Jesus, walk. The only thing that I prayed is that my feet don't fail me now. Thank you so, so much, Jim. I appreciate the love and support, my friend. Thank you for being the stream sponsor on this very special night, dude. This is a very special night, man. Can you all believe this woman was brave enough to actually come up and tell this story? Can you imagine, and I don't encourage you to do it because I don't want to give these cats any shine, but can you imagine the backlash and vitriol she faced? I took a sneak peek. I just took a little peek, and I couldn't even watch it. I couldn't. I'm going to move my screen here. Hold on a second. Let's see if we can do this on the fly without looking too ragged. I think that looks better. because I'm kind of looking up at them. Yeah, I think that looks better. But um, <clears throat> yeah, for her to be able to come and do this is incredible, incredible. So shout out to her, Miss Alcantara. I think I'm saying it right. Let's go. You see what I'm saying? Well, well Hortensia actually is a flower, but it's a Spanish. Okay. It's a hydrangea flower. Okay. And my grandma used to have a lot of a lot of hortensias, you know, and so my mom decided to to name me after that. Okay, that's cool. That's fair. And, I, and I'm assuming you're of uh, Latino heritage with Alcantara as your last name. My parents are uh, Mexican. They're okay. Mexican, so I'm Mexican American. How did you meet Kevin? How'd you? Shout out to the Mexican Americans, man. Yeah, I've dated a couple of Mexican women, and uh, they're a different breed in a very positive way. Shout out to Mike's Philippine retirement. Let's get it. Meet Kevin Samuels. So Kevin and I met through my brother who admires Kevin. Mm -hmm. I, I had seen a couple of Kevin's videos, but not enough to really fully understand the platform he had created. Okay. And after we first met, we kept in touch over FaceTime and started to get to know, know each other a little more that way. Mm -hmm. You know, our conversations mostly consisted of work and family. We also had conversations about what we were looking for. And, and Kevin knew that I was dating with intent to marry. Mm -hmm. So he had mentioned, you know, working on a relationship, but I never knew how serious he was until he actually, you know, we actually met in person. And Let's stop there for a second. Two quick things. <clears throat> 
she met Kevin through her brother, who was a supporter of Kevin. He was a fan of Kevin's. Isn't that incredible? Isn't that incredible? Wow. And from the very beginning, he talked relationship. He didn't talk, uh, you know, uh, Netflix and chill. So the stuff that he was telling us is the way he was really operating. I find that very interesting and encouraging. Let's get it. Later, he explained that he had run a background check, you know, to make sure I wasn't crazy before moving forward. So I joked about that and told him that it was a little scary. So he ran a background check on you? That's what I'm talking about. (laughs) That's what he told me. And I was like, (laughs) I told him he was crazy. Oh man, so he's checking for warrants and, and 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 whatnot to see who you are. I believe he ran a background check on me and everybody else that he associated with. That sounds like him. That does sound like him. <laughs> hey, let me tell you something, fellas. And this is these are the gems and the jewels and the nuggets <clears throat> that you uh you need to do when you're interacting with these women. And and it's not just women, but we're talking about mating and dating here. You need to make sure that you do your due diligence, man. You can pay a lot of these services, maybe $10, $20, you know, before you bring somebody to your house, before you meet somebody in public, you don't know what they have going on. I've talked to you about, shout out to AI. You know, I got this, this junk, this, uh, this, uh, ultra 24 Samsung ultra 24, and it's got the, the circle to search. So at this point I can actually just take a screenshot of a thing and then I can circle a person's face and it'll search the whole internet for them, you know, and come up with whatever results they have, you know what I'm saying? Um, but if you don't have one of these phones, take a screenshot. If the lady has an online profile and just do a reverse Google image search on it, see if, if, if she comes up in any mug shots, see if that picture is stolen from another person in profile. And I love the fact that Kevin actually did that. He walked it like he talked it. And that's what I'm talking about. And he was up front about it. He was completely up front about it. That's incredible. That's incredible. The man was who he said he was. Let's get it. You know, that is funny. Mm-hmm. So he ran a background check on you. Okay. All right. And so yeah, then- and, I, and, I, and, I, and I joked about it too, because uh-huh. I told him, yeah, you know, I just have a couple of felonies under my belt. And he started laughing because he's like, I know you're a nurse. You can't have those. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I love that. She has a sense so, of humor. Um, okay. So you said your conversations consisted of like, did you say work and family and you let him know you wanted mm-hmm. to get married. Is that what he wanted? I mean, what, what was, I mean, you know, I don't want you to go too deep into your personal friend, you know, relationship, what y'all mm-hmm. talked about, but like, just what was his mind when he was speaking to you? No, of course. Like he came off as, you know, he asked me what I wanted. And so he, ever since, you know, I stopped working so much, I, I always told, you know, people I'm, I'm, I'm dating with, you know, intent to, to be married. That's what I want. And I always put it up front so people know and, you know, not to waste anybody's time. Okay. And he had mentioned, you know, that he, he had wanted to work on a relationship, but never, like I said, never, I was never, I never understood how serious he was until I, I met him and he told me that he always wanted to remarry and have a son. That's a bomb right there. That's a, that's a bomb right there. Um, number one, and, and we're going to get to this. And I'm trying not to jump the gun, but I want to talk about it now, but we're going to wait till we get to the part in the video. But I'm going to tell you right now. Um, man, okay, don't jump the gun, El Guapo. Don't be the spoiler alert, dude. Don't do it, bro. I'm going to put you in jail. Jail. Okay, here's the thing. She talks about, she let him know from the very beginning that she is dating with the intention of marriage and come to find out Kevin was doing the same exact thing. They were like-minded when it came to that. They were congruent. And look at how this whole thing went down. One of the things that was really impactful to me, bring it in y'all, group hug. 
Group hug, nigga. Come on, Craig. One of the things that was really impactful to me in the Philippines is talking to the women and learning that courting was alive and well in the Philippines. For those of my uh, uh, viewers, expat subscribers that are out there um, that live in the Philippines, shout out to Clarence Wilkerson. I'm going to get you in one second, my brother. You know, the whole courting thing is a big deal out there. Kevin used to say that dating was dumb. And he believed in courting and stuff like that. And this sounds like two people that are uh, making the right steps or taking the right steps towards marriage and a family. And he shared with, with uh, Miss Alcantara that he was looking for, um, you know, getting married and having a son. Kevin was 53. But I get it. I get that burning desire to have a son. Ha having three daughters, man, I was, re I was cool with being done. But boy, when that boy got here, when Guap got here, man, yeah. Woo! Shout out to having a little boy. So I get that, that um, desire to have a son, man. I get it. Let's get back into it. And, you know, that he wanted to, he wanted to be married, but he was always, looking for someone like me, you know, someone humble from the Midwest and that could have nice things, but didn't need them. So, so he, he wanted to have, he wanted to have a son because I know he has a daughter. Yeah. Oh, okay. Okay. I've actually spoken with his daughter on several occasions. She's actually kind of handling business for him now. She just graduated from college. Um, wow. Yeah. So he has, I know he had a daughter. I, man. Wow, little Kevin Jr., that'd have been something else. Little KS. Wouldn't Jr. it? Wouldn't uh, it? So uh <laughs> y'all talked all about that. He already did you tell him that's not your job to give him the son or not? He had to figure that out on his he had it was his job to do that. Yeah, no, that's what he told me. He's like, Well, he's like, Can you have, you know, yeah, can you have a male and just joking around and I was like, Well, that's <laughs> that's up to you. That's up to right. <laughs> that's up to the male to produce that. Mm -hmm. I see what you did there, Kevin. Hey, Kevin, I see what you did there. I like that. Well done, sir. You know, uh, but now he, he really, he always talks about, you know, his daughter and his mom and how much, you know, he loved them, and, but he also wanted to, to have a son. Yeah. It's my understanding. They had a really close relationship, you know, I, so they, I mean, oh my God, his mom, she'll have such a sweet woman and the daughter, his just, just so humble and sweet. And, you know, just, just sweet people, you know, it's just, it's easy to do stuff for women like that, you know, and, and that's what I found. Like, you know, she just had, the mom had, she had my heart, you know, for about a, she's the type of mama everybody wish they had, you know, uh, Miss Beverly. So shout out to Miss Beverly. And she's just such a sweet woman. Um, and then of course his daughter is just a sweet girl. And I could see why he would like, you because you kind of got that same vibe going um but anyway um so what what did you how did y'all uh i guess y'all talked on the phone y'all did facetime well look so he checked you out mm -hmm. first right did he ask you those famous questions he always asks people listen <laughs> A little bit, yeah. Let me, let me do it. I'm gonna I'm let me do my KS. Hold on. Listen, man. listen Hold to Dennis's impersonation. Watch this. The intent to marry. Okay. Mm -hmm. Uh, what's what's your dress size? A four. <laughs> uh oh, uh oh. You making them bad now, Hortensia? This isn't you. This is me. But hey, Hortensia said a size four. People, a four. Watch out for the big girl. Oh, they're getting mad. They're getting mad. They're getting mad. Not a size 14. Woo! Not a size 20. Woo! A four. If you look at the thumbnail, Old El Guapo has a little Easter egg up there for you. It says F B I. Somebody drop in the chat. Kevin Samuels used to come in and he would say, uh, uh, what do you say? One love to the CIA. Shout out to the CIA. One love to the FBI. What does F B 
P.I. stand for? Let's see who are the true Kevin Samuels supporters and historians. FBI. What does FBI stand for? Shout out to y'all. Salute to. Give me one second here. Salute to Donald in the building with the $5 King's Ransom. (laughs) Says, El Guapo, thank you for encouraging me to live fully rather than just existing. Amen to that, bro. If I can do that, I've done my job. Your encouragement for me to stay concentrated on my purpose and to remove all distractions is greatly appreciated. Thank God for you. Peace and love, man. Peace and love to you, man. And thank God for you, dog. Like, for real. You know, I got that whole, uh, what do you call it? That whole uh, flash from the Justice League mentality, man. Batman told me, just save one. Just go and save one. I'm trying to save one, yo. And I'm glad, man. Listen, stay in the fight. Here's the cool thing. There are so many brothers in the struggle with you. You may not see them on a day-to-day basis, but their prayers, their thoughts, and their energy are going out to you being successful. So shout out to you. Thank you so, so much, Donald. Let's give you the transformer. Shout out to you. Thank you so much, man. Shout out to my dog, Clarence Wilkerson in the building. With the 1,250 Filipino pesos, praise God. Says, what's good, El Guapo? I tried to get the hold the line wristband, but had some technical difficulty. So I'll just send the $25 to support the channel and keep holding the line. Bro, email me your address. This, I'll accept this as payment for your, your hold the line band. Shout out to your uh, hold the line wristbands. Can you see it? I can't. My wrist doesn't go that way. Hold the line wristbands. There you go. That says Kingmaker Studio on the back. Uh, send me your, uh, your address, and I'll get that out to you before the week is out, man. You're good to go. This is good enough. I know YouTube takes 30%, but it is what it is, man. You've always been such a great supporter of the channel, man, so I got you. And keep holding the line, my brother, and maybe if you offer it again, I can get one piece. I got you, bro. I got you, man. And you know what you get for the equivalent of, like, a $20 holly. You, my friend, have unleashed the Jericho Missile. Shout out to Clarence Wilkerson again with the 125 Filipino peso super chat says and rest in power to the Godfather. He will be missed. Awesome topic, bro. Peace. I appreciate that. Bang. Thank you so much, Clarence. Thank you so, so much, Clarence. Shout out to Daniel Patrick in the building. With the $5 Super Chat says, do you have any response to Mike Davis' allegations against you and today? I I don't know. Stop, bro. (sighs) And that's how you lose $5. This is how you you are now blocked. You're blocked. I don't even know who that is. I have no idea who you're talking about. I don't even know who you're talking about. How do I block you? Uh, Remove. There you go. And now you don't have a voice anymore. Come on, guys. Get it together, man. You could have emailed me or something. Shout out to the male perspective with the $5 super chat. Says, I leave for the Philippines on Wednesday. Yeah. Woo! Uh, to get married. What? Congratulations. Salute to you. I definitely courted my fiance and couldn't be happier. Love the show, sir. Man, everybody drop a TMP in the chat. My man is going out to the Philippines to get married. Congratulations, yo. Congratulations. Yeah. Let's do it, man. We're going to give you something cool, man. Let's give you the finishing move. No, let's not do that one. Let's not do that one. Let's do, uh, oh, you know, let's do the money horn. Here we go. Salute to you. Thank you so, so much. I appreciate it, man. 
the male's perspective, getting married, that's what I'm talking about. Look at all the love you're getting too, bro. Look at all the love you're getting. Look at that. Team, we are so much stronger together than we would ever be apart. Look at that. I love it. I love it. Love it. Absolutely love it. Let's get it. All right, back to the content. Thank you all for all the love and support. Team, do me a favor, hit that like button. And we will keep rocking and rolling. Let's get it. Four, okay. And uh, let me see. How do you rate yourself on a scale of one to 10 and you can't use seven? Honestly, um, I would I would tell myself five, maybe six with the makeup. Five. Do y'all see this woman? And let's not keep it about that, but 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 let's just keep it keep it a buck. Let me explain something to y'all. We're, we're going to be here all night because I keep stopping, but let me explain this to y'all. Fellas, drop this in the chat. And this is a pause question preemptively. What do you think, fellas, guys, what do you think about that dude in the group or that's adjacent to the group that is always bragging about his Johnson and his escapades in the bedroom. What do you think about that guy? Do you think he's all cap? Or do you think he's just telling the truth about his life and everything like that? Here's something I know for sure, for absolute certainty, and you can see it everywhere you look across social media. Those that got it ain't got to brag about it. You know the best fighters in the world avoid physical conflict at all costs? The most trained, disciplined, um, physical combatants in the world are extremely humble. If you listen to a lot of uh, MMA fighters and everything, they say that Joe Rogan had some of the strongest kicks in the world, right? Listen to Joe Rogan talk about fighting and how stupid it is to get into a street fight and stuff like that. He talks about how dangerous it is to slam somebody on the ground. He said it's like hitting a person with the world. And all of the things that can happen from it. See, this is a mark of an evolved human being. They have a great level of power and shout out to Spider-Man. Hence, they elevate their level of responsibility. This young lady right here is clearly, come on y'all, team. She is clearly, look at Dennis's face. Shout out to Dennis. <laughs> look at Dennis's face, yeah. <laughs> Dennis is like, man, in DC they say you're lunching. <laughs> you're, you're out to lunch, you're lunching. She's like, he, Dennis is like, man, you lunching lady. Yeah, uh, you are clearly not a five. And a six with makeup. Stop. You saw the thumbnail. Stop it. Dress size four from the Midwest dating to get married. And you're going to find out more about her. But this is what I am um, so proud of our brother Kevin Samuels about. Kevin has had interactions with um, so many beautiful women. Who is the young lady in the green dress? I forget her name. In Miami with him. Beautiful young lady. Beautiful young lady. She and Kevin weren't quite seeing eye to eye. But you never heard of any scandal. You never heard of, you know, Kevin trying to uh, GTDs, get them draws. Kevin did an interview with Brittany Renner. 
You never heard anything but Kevin treating Britney with the utmost respect and Britney respecting him. Kevin was on with uh, Tommy Lee. You remember Tommy Lee? I think Tommy Lee is fine. Tommy, get your life together. I like Tommy Lee. But uh, Tommy Lee, never heard of any scandal. Kevin was on with uh, Nicki Minaj, wasn't he? Was it Nicki Minaj? Yeah, it was Nicki Minaj. So Kevin had access to all of these other women, but look at what he chose to pursue. Not saying anything against any of the other women, but look at what he chose to pursue. My brother, listen, talked it like he, I'm sorry, he walked it like he talked it. Let's go. Let's go. Shout out to Kevin and shout out to uh, Miss Alcantara. You, you, my friend, madam, are not, a, you're not a five. If, if you're a five, <laughs> if you are a five, there's no hope for a lot of these other chicks. Don't, now nah, I'm trying not to be nice. Don't do it, El Guapo. You're going to jail tonight. I'm trying to keep it above board to respect her, but we about to wild out as soon as this video is over. We gonna wild out. Let's get it. So shout out to her. Number six. Mm -hmm. But that's, I don't know, that's just me. Okay, and what did Kevin tell you when you said you were five or six? He and looked I've at me and said I was- of you before, you know, uh, <laughs> go ahead. He looked at me and said that I was crazy and that- Yeah, he said you were crazy. <sighs> Blasphemy. You are nowhere near a five or a six, ma'am. Let's go. Um, he's like, well, pretty girls are usually like that. They don't understand. And I was like, I don't, I don't know. I just have always felt that way. <laughs> Let me see. You know what? So, okay. So, he, so babe, we'll figure you met his requirements. You, you passed the, the, the test, right? I think so. <laughs> okay. So you, you Passed the background check. You did the FaceTime. He probably, you know, checked you out here and there to, you know, caught you a different time, see what you look like. And then uh, y'all some kind of way figured out your first meeting, right? So tell us about mm -hmm. that. So at the time I was working in Texas, but I was between contracts. So I had some free time before my next start date. Okay. So then I, I flew I flew to Atlanta and we met, you know, at Buckhead Village and that's Buckhead. where he showed me around and Buckhead shout out Village. to Buckhead Village. I, I think that's that's where he was living at the time, where he was renting that uh what was it VRBO or something like that. Okay. All right. And uh okay, so y'all uh so you, you say you flew what what do you say you were between contracts? What does that mean? So um, I'm a travel nurse, so I can pick up contracts with different hospitals. And mm. at the time, you know, I was I wasn't working; it was between contracts. And my contract, which is in Tennessee now, mm -hmm. um, didn't start until you know three weeks after. So I had enough time to go and actually meet him. All right. So check this out. She said a lot there. I want to make sure you all are keeping up. So. She is a travel nurse. Now, Kevin used to give nurses the business, but I'm gonna tell you something. Oh, and these are the gems. Team, team, I need you, if you can appreciate what I'm about to say, if you're, what, I gotta say it first, but if you appreciate what I'm about to say after I say it, I need you to drop me a five in the chat. Stick with me, y'all, stick with me, listen to me. If you think I'm, I'm lunching, word of the day is lunching. <laughs> if you think I'm lunching, I'm out to lunch, I'm crazy. If you think I'm a... Well, are you retarded? If you think I'm that, drop me a six. Watch this, listen to, listen to me. We as Western men have got to put up barriers and boundaries when it comes to certain things that we are not uh, willing to accept because they would ultimately be a detriment to us and our lives and, 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 and our livelihoods and our well-being. For example, as of the last four, three, four, five years, it's been, you know, no single mothers, 
you know, no women of certain um, uh, career fields, artistic types, actresses. These are all things that Kevin talked about. But Lord, when you step outside the confines of the old United States and this Western world, you find out, man, y'all ain't ready for this conversation. You find out that guess what? We here are the exception and not the rule. You find out that guess what? Young, unencumbered, fit, beautiful, the I is inspirational. The I and CIA is intelligent for some of you that asked. I should have uh, gone through them. FBI, feminine, beautiful, inspirational. CIA, confident, intelligent, assertive is for the men. But uh, when you find women like these, you find that guess what? And I saw this with the Filipinas, y'all. Stick with me now. Stay, what, what, is, what does Ocho Cinco say? He says, stay with me now. Listen, you find that these young ladies in these nurturing career fields are actually nurturing. Shout out to the nurses. And I'm gonna spoiler alert you, but this shows way more on May the 5th and what Miss Alcantara did for Kevin versus on May 4th. Man, this is deep. I'm going to tell you right now, if I was single, for real, for real, I'm going to get to that in one second. If I was single, I would, uh, I would probably give a Filipina a shot that had a kid. I probably would. I probably would. It wouldn't be my first preference, but I'd give her a shot. There is no way on God's green earth. I don't care if you're a widow. If, you, if you're in the U.S. and you were born and raised here, I'm sorry. I am prejudging you. El Guapo is prejudice. I am prejudging you. I am not giving you a, chat, a shot in heck to take you seriously for a relationship. In the States. If you already have a kid, I'm not I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it. So uh, it's very interesting to me. Um, it's very interesting to me that Kevin, despite all that he said about nurses, boy, oh boy, he had his you guys know I'm old school. I'm Gen X. Y'all know what it means to have your nose open. You know what it means to have your nose open? Sounds like Kevin had his nose open for uh, Miss Alcantaras, who by trade is a nurse. Shout out to, let me go back to the screen. Shout out to Clarence Wilkerson in the building again. With another 250 Filipino peso says, no need brother, this is for the support of the channel and what you do is like an internal hold the line wristband brother and disregard those haters. You're doing the work and it's greatly appreciated. I don't even know who they are, bro. Like I, <laughs> I, don't, I don't know who you are. And I, I'm not going to look and try to find out who you are. I don't care what allegations there are. It, it, you know, if you want to have a conversation, reach out to me. And if I deem you worthy of my time, I will consider having a conversation with you. And if I don't, I'm going to go on living my life and best of luck to you to living yours. But shout out to you, Clarence. I still want you to send me your address, man. So let me send you a band, bro. Let me do it, man. Golly. See, this is why you can't. You brothers, uh, brothers, I'm trying to do something nice. Clarence, can you send me the address? Just send me your address, man. I'll get it to you. For sure, for sure. But shout out to you. Thank you so much for the love and support. You get the airstrike. Thank you so much, Clarence. Let's make sure I got, let's see. Shout out to non real Comics back in the building again. Yeah. With the $5 super chat, praise God. Says, I was in denial like Melanie when Kevin passed. Let's appreciate our pioneers every day before they're gone. Our leaders who continue to believe for us. I believe in that, man. And I don't give a man his flowers. I don't like um, 
the saying, you know, give a man his flowers. I'm going to give you your props, but I'm old. So, but uh, yeah, we need to give people their props while they're here. Uh, somebody drop my email for Clarence Wilkerson, please. Uh, it's elguapo at thebeautifulize.com. Yeah, let's celebrate each other. And this is why even in the moment when you all give a dollar or a dime or something like that, I try to celebrate you right there, right now, because the next moment is not promised to any of us. But a uh, salute to non real comics. Thank you so much. I can't wait to talk about what we got to talk about, but I want to prepare. I got a whole presentation. You know how Guapo is going to do. I'm a whole presentation for you, bruh. I got you covered, man. But salute to you. Thank you so much. And keep doing your thing, bro. Let's get it. Berserker Ball. Let's do, uh, let me make sure I got this right. I hope I'm saying this right. I'm always scared that I'm going to say this wrong. I think that's AI visuals in rhythm with the $10 King's Ransom tip. <laughs> Praise God, old school style. Allahu Akbar! Allahu Akbar! Allahu Akbar! Says, great topic today. First time on your super chat. Check your email for a special gift to you as... We extend appreciation for your love of the community. Let me tell you something, man. I get a lot of emails. And you didn't have to, listen, you didn't have to send a King's Ransom or Super Chat, but just me seeing you in your chat, in my chat, makes me know you're real, man. So I definitely will check it out. Thank you so much in advance. And thank you for the first time with uh, donation support to the channel. I appreciate that, man. That's my dog. My nigga. <laughs> Salute to AI Visuals. You get the blue flame. Much appreciated. Let's get back to Miss Alcantara. I hope I'm saying her name right. I hope I'm not butchering it. Butchering it. Let's go. I mean, I'm assuming it was pretty serious because I know Kevin well enough to know. Here's a couple of things. I don't know if you know this, but uh, the night or the day before, whatever y'all got together, he sent me a text message. And I'm looking at this last text message he sent me. And I, I see how excited he was. Let me Listen, see excited. And I'm going to read it to you just so you know. You know, because it's one thing what what uh, uh, God. I love my brother Dennis, man. But Dennis, you bit off more than you could chew right here, man. You's brave when trying to read that last text message you got from Kevin Live. I get it, bro. I get it, man. You know, fellas, we got feelings too, man. No matter how big, bad, strong, hard we are, man, we got feelings too. But Dennis, Dennis, bold for trying this. Shout out to the Blizzard King. That ice melted a little bit there, dog. But much respect to you, Dennis. I don't want it. You know I don't want it. You know I know you six five, about three hundred pounds. I don't want it, bro. I don't want it. <laughs> I'm just messing with you, man. Dennis is the homie, man. I just tell the ladies. You know what I'm saying? But it's mm -hmm. a whole nother thing when they start telling their friends. You know what I mean? Yeah. So let me see. He sent me. True. Um, let me see here. Oh man. Uh see. It's getting to you, brother. Yeah. It's hard to even look at this stuff over again, you know what I mean? Facts. But uh he said uh he sent me a picture of you from your um your your Instagram page, right? And then my response yeah. was uh wow gorgeous. And then he said few pics doesn't follow me initial background check initial background clear <laughs> you know now listen doesn't follow him initial background is clear and i'm going to tell you something kevin could have easily sold out listen el guapo's gonna mess this up i'm gonna mess it up so let me apologize to my wife labea in advance baby i'm gonna mess it up somehow the scandal's gonna come out i'm joking i'm saying this tongue-in-cheek but the scandal's gonna come out and el guapo's gonna be Caught with a thought and all this stuff. I'm going to have to make the public apology and with my wife on my side, like Kobe did, like Tiger did. I'm going to have to make the apology, but my wife's going to stick with me because she loves me. And she said there's no returns. Kevin walked it like he talked. it. All the women. Okay. And I look for this, y'all. I look for this. Do you all remember Kevin had this light-skinned lady 
on his show and he interviewed her. And I think he went to Miami or LA or something like that. And Kevin got on the, the dating app and came across her. Man, drop me a four in the chat if you remember this. I could not find the live stream. I looked for like an hour today because I wanted to find the clip. And the next day, he went live in the new town. was like, man, guess who I came across? You remember blah, blah, blah. But And I wouldn't have normally said anything, but she popped so slick to me. He was like, yo, yo uh, she told me that all I could do for her is take her shopping and then or or do some other stuff in the bedroom to her. That's the pillow princess her. That's what she said. You know what I'm saying? That Kevin could have easily been susceptible um to uh getting in with the groupies and the fans he could have easily fallen into that trap but that's not at all what he did he approached these situations and his platform and and these interactions with these women righteously and i admire that shout out to kevin uh that was that was a trip. You know what I mean? You don't follow him on Instagram. Was that like a big deal that you don't follow him on Instagram or or something like that? It's a huge you deal. Don't follow his shows because you mentioned earlier you didn't you didn't really follow his program too much. Not really. It was more my my brother who was you know watched all his things and for me I had to watch a couple of things but I never really was into it like like my brother was like that and and on instagram i really didn't use you know social media i had a couple pictures but i never honestly i feel like i never really had time because i worked so much yeah that's a wife right there that is a wife my second wife and my current wife little to no social media presence that's real i I could see why he was hesitant you know, because I mean, you don't know. Your man made like six, seven million dollars in like two years. Damn. Six, seven million dollars in two years? Let me borrow twenty dollars, Kevin. You know, I, I the pressure he was under, you know. Did he ever did he talk about that with you at all? He did. He he mentioned, you know, that's that he liked that I was from the Midwest because he said that we kind of grew with a different mentality and mm. you know like these material things they were nice but it's something that you know we don't really need like i didn't grow up with that so it doesn't really matter to me you know and and i don't like to talk about you know my salary but i i'm i do pretty well and i don't really buy these materialistic things because it doesn't matter to me like to me it's more about the experiences you know and he liked that yeah let me just say this she's a travel nurse I cannot imagine a situation where she makes less than 90, but I would imagine she makes about 150,000 a year minimum, but let's go. So you, you got your own money is basically what you're saying. Yeah. And you know, and I work hard for it. Uh, respect. Amen. So you, 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 uh, you, you, you decided to meet Kevin. Y'all decided mutually y'all mm-hmm. gonna meet each other. So tell us what happened. You tell us how it happened. About how much did they make Charles Moreland? So we met at Buckhead Village, and then that's where he started showing me around and took me to his favorite bargain store, which was the, the Peak. And, he, you know, you say, the whole... What, okay, hold on. You said he took you to his favorite department store? Or you said fragrance store? The fragrance store, yeah. He really likes, the, you know, the fragrances and the candles. But they sell, they sell so much there. It's, it was, it's really cute. And, and he showed me around, and, you know, the whole time... Kevin was a gentleman the whole time. He carried Listen. my bag, just op- opened the doors for me, always asking if I needed anything. He was very attentive, and that's, I really liked that about him. Okay, okay. So you guys, he, were, go ahead. Sorry. Um, and so he also got a place for me to stay right across from his because he wanted me to feel comfortable when I was. Wow. Woo! Listen to me. Now, she said she flew out. I don't know if Kevin paid for her ticket. I'm going to tell you, yo, if I had to bet money, if I had to bet money, oh, man, I wish I knew this. Uh, Miss Alcantara, if you uh, ever see this, 
Email me at elguapo at thebeautifulize.com. Elguapo at thebeautifulize.com if you're willing to. I would be willing to bet money Kevin did not pay for her ticket to come out to Atlanta. I would be willing to bet money that she um, insisted, and this is, this is how Latin women are. I have a Colombian wife. I'm telling you right now, they're going to do their part. They're going to do their part. LaBea does her part. She does. When we went on our first date, she insisted that after we had dinner, that she, we went to have another drink and she paid for everything. She insisted. I'm telling you right now. And Kevin was like, well, at the very least, I, man, if I had to bet money, I'm willing to bet he didn't pay for her ticket. I don't think he paid for her ticket, man. I bet she, because she's invested in it, showed, y'all haven't, see, y'all, ah. Let's say you're in Brazil, right? And you meet a young lady. Let's say she works at uh, Zona Sol, which is uh, the grocery store and everything. And you want to take her out. You say, hey, do you want to come have some beers with me uh, later or, you know, grab a bite to eat with me or later? And she agrees. And she hops on an Uber or on a, on a, a bike taxi or something like that. If you offered to give her the money for the taxi, she would be offended. This woman might make pennies to the dollars that you make working an honest nine to five. But yet and still, am I good? Am I still streaming? I'm still streaming. Somebody drop me a thumbs up or something. Let me know I'm still streaming. Hit the little heart button or something in the thing, the 100 or something. Let me know I'm still in here. But um, she'd be offended. I, if I were, I could be wrong, team. I could be wrong. I don't think Kevin flew her out. I don't think he flew her out. I think she agreed that uh, she would come out. And I believe that he was like, well, at the very least, let me give you accommodation so that you can be cut. Man, talk about classy. The Godfather. Look, I had to put on the. Uh... Now, mine is not a Tom Ford, but this suit is custom. And you, it, I did it in the Tom Ford style. You can look at the stitching. You can't really see it, but you see the stitching right here. And it has the wider lapels. Yeah, so. Um, this is a custom suit, but uh, in Tom Ford style, but I had to wear my, my, uh, my Tom Ford style for, for Kevin. Kevin was classy through and through. He was who he said he was, and I freaking love it, man. Let's get it. There. Okay. So, okay, okay. So, okay. So he got a, he got a place for you separate from his. So you were, all right. So I guess everybody thought you were staying with him, but he got you, he got you a place in Buckhead Village for you to stay? Yeah, across the street. He just he said that he just wanted me to feel comfortable. Classy move, yeah. Kevin. That's that's real cool. And mm. that's really nice. um mm -hmm. Okay. And then so y'all uh and you were saying something about y'all went to the what did y'all what did y'all get at uh dupe 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 tech? Is that what it's called? Dupe tech? Oh gosh. Dennis, you know I love you. This is out of respect, but no, sir. <laughs> <laughs> Blizzard King being the Blizzard King. Shout out to the Blizzard King. <laughs> Diptyque, <laughs> dupe tech. <laughs> I haven't met Dennis in person, but I had a feeling that Dennis is exactly the same way in real life too. Shout out to Dennis. Uh, I think it's pronounced Diptyque. Dupe yeah, okay. Well, that lets you know. I don't, yeah, you so know, I don't, I don't know the, the stuff, but I know one thing. <laughs> I was in New York with, with Kevin Samuels and spent 18 goddamn thousand, uh, eighteen hundred dollars on some 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 damn cologne, some Creed, and, 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 and I didn't even want it. You know what I mean? But he said, you, you, you did good, Dennis. You did one. You did good, Kevin you did talked you into 1800 like, I don't feel like I did good today, Kevin. I don't spend $1,800 <laughs> on cologne. I can go to Walmart and get this for much less money. Yo, Kevin said Walmart, was, shout out to the was, cool water. <laughs> he was pretty confident. <laughs> I done good. So, what did he get you to buy in in Dupe Tech? Did he, did Dupe he get Tech. you uh, to buy something in there? Well, he was just throwing me around, you know, kind of mm -hmm. like showing me like the fragrances he liked, and you know, kind of asking me what I like. So we just, you know, looked around, and and after that, you know, um, 
he told me he had all these things planned for the week and he was excited to show me, wow. you know, what Atlanta had to offer because that was my first time in Atlanta and he wanted to convince me to get my next travel assignment there. Oh, hold so on, man. You I was know, excited. It, 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 somebody said this in the comments, they sound like Sneaky Way is for that. Shout out to the Jew. Woo! Bang, bang, got it. <laughs> uh, let's go. Uh, the Godfather was like a romantic type dude. Listen, let me go back 10 seconds. Travel assignment there. Oh, hold on. So, man. You I was know, excited. It, 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 somebody said this in the comments. They sound like uh, the Godfather was like a romantic type dude. Yes. And this is where it starts to get good, people. This is where it starts to get good. They talk about. Um, so let me just. Fast forward to the end for you. Men are way more thoughtful and romantic than women. They just are. They just are. Um, when it comes to when it comes to doing really thoughtful things, wonderful things, it's the men that do it for the women. It really is. It is. And we can't be touched in the West when it comes to that type of stuff. So when somebody says, man, it sounds like the Godfather is the, the romantic type, I believe it. I absolutely believe it. But here's what's crazy. And this is where I tell you all, do not overdose on red pills. Do not stay in that red pill rage stage. Here's what I'm gonna tell you. You need to be honest and true to who you are. And there's a woman out there that deserves that romantic side from you. But here's the spoiler. It's not all women. Tell them. Sprinkle, sprinkle. It's not all women. It's not all women. And that is a painful, painful fact that ladies do not want to uh, have to deal with. Remember, okay, so you'd have to be a Patreon member. A couple of months ago when I did the uh, which women, which uh, country has the most beautiful women, and we did the after dark joke, and we started talking about women that'll kind of make you change your religion. Yeah. You know, you may think that you've come across something, but come across a feminine, beautiful young lady like that, and I'm going to tell you right now, Right now, these, these women will be the eye in the FBI, hence why I put the Easter egg in the thumbnail. Feminine, beautiful, and inspirational. They will inspire that romantic bone in your body. And it sounds like that our brother Kevin had his nose wide open. And I'm, man, I, I just, man, I just think, to be 53, to have gone through all that he has gone through with his cancer battle, with uh, you know being married, being divorced, changing careers, moving states, fighting for four years for traction and relevance on YouTube, and then dealing with the backlash of the high level of success and people that think that he um uh got it overnight you know what i'm saying that he was an overnight success and he didn't earn it and he was getting hit with six different kinds of kung fu and to think that he was let's call it what it is excited enough to reach out to Dennis and send this message to be like yo i might have found a good one man and to plan and to know that she's coming out and to prepare everything for. Yo, yo, fellas, come on, man. Bring it in, y'all. Bring it in. Group hug. Group hug, nigga. Come on, Craig. Let's keep it real. You know how it is. That first time you're going to have the lady you really like to your crib and you're doing a little extra cleaning and stuff like that. Yo, I know I'm not the only one, man. Don't make me. I know I'm not the only one.
and you're cleaning and everything. You're making sure everything is good. And, you know, you could uh, spray the smell good and all that stuff, man. And make sure the crib is tight. You might get under the bed, you know, sweep the floor. You might mop it for the first time. You're in that limerence phase. And if there was ever a person that put in the reps, that did the work, that gave back, tried to help, and deserved to be back in that phase, it was Kevin. And this is why I titled this The Encouraging Last Day of Kevin Samuels. Because I can, I'm going to use the F word, I can feel the excitement that he had at the prospect of meeting Miss Alcantara's. My brother would, must have been over the moon. So as bad as we may feel, having lost Kevin, I believe Kevin Samuels left this earth in very high spirits. Wouldn't you? Do you see her? Did you listen to her? But I don't want you to just believe what I have to say. I want you to, uh, to, to hear it. For sure. Shout out to the male's perspective back in the building again with another $2 super chat. Praise God. Says rest in heaven to the Godfather. Thank you so much. Yes, absolutely. Rest in heaven. Rest in power. Rest in peace. Godfather Kevin Samuels. I appreciate you. You get the bomb balls. Shout out to I am Phoenix in the building with the $5 super chat and, and this is their first super chat ever. Yeah. Everybody drop a Phoenix in there is F E E N I triple X. I am Phoenix with their very first super chat says, appreciate your content, brother. Thank you so much. I appreciate you. Thank you for coming over here. I feel like I leveled up, man. You dropping your first super chat over here. Praise God, old school style. Allahu Akbar! Allahu Akbar! Allahu Akbar! Shout out to Phoenix. Salute to you. Thank you so, so much. You get the left, the right, and the carpet bomb. Boom! Let's get it. Now, I explained to you that you're only going to feel, F word, feel this way for certain women. But I can show you better than I can tell you. Watch this. Y'all, my boyfriend don't have a single romantic bone in his body. He does. He does have romantic bones in his body. Just not for you. Yeah! Facts. <laughs> Who's the, who's what rap line is it? I am the truth and the truth hurts. It hurts. Let it burn. Let's go. Emotional damage. And this is no offense to the girl that's making the video because it's literally nothing to do with her at all. It, it actually has everything to do with her. But yeah, let's go. It just has to do with the people that we choose today. I'm making my smoothie for today, but please excuse me. Um, when I was 14, my mom used to always tell me like, you know, Sydney, the people that you're choosing to date, they're just practicing for when they meet their wife. Ooh, that's cold. <laughs> cold but true. Now, I don't agree with everything that she's saying. It absolutely has to do with you ladies. What have I been talking about for the past couple of weeks? I've been talking about um, this is... Um, the difference between those that are winning and those that aren't is choosing to be the better option. And so many Western women have no idea how far behind they are when it comes to the competition because it is competitive to get these top quality men. Let's go. And it's not you. And I used to always hurt my feelings until I was like realizing more and more in my relationship that this person just doesn't want to do those things for me. And I know a lot. 
Zick, I saw the same thing, but let's leave it alone, man. I, I, Zick, I literally, when I watched this before, I was like, bruh, that is, when I do smoothies and I have a neutral bullet like this, it's, I'm going to tell you what's in it. It's kale. M- the vast majority of this is kale. Kale, like raw kale. And not baby kale, the rough kale. Pineapple, oatmeal, and a, a tablespoon of peanut butter and water. Look at what she pours on top of this junk. A lot of you guys have been in that situation where the people that you date will do all the things you wanted them to do after the relationship ends. And I'll always tell people, is the person you're with now the person you want to be with for the rest of your life? She's yeah, I think I really, I really feel, I really feel he was, he was very romantic and he was very respectful and, and you know, I feel like people don't, don't see that, in that but that's what the version I saw, you know, the Kevin I saw. So Yes, he was romantic, Miss Alcantara's, and don't ever lose this. And this is the beauty of being a woman. The beauty of being a woman is the fact that you are innately born with pretty much everything that you need. And your job is to preserve it. And if you preserve that innocence, and if you preserve that, not necessarily chasteness, but if you preserve that bubbliness that Kevin used to talk about, and that positive outlook on life, and that ability to pair bond, guys will freaking move mountains to make that a permanent part of their life. They will go to war to make that a permanent part of their life. The problem that we have today is so many women in our culture are willing to give away everything valuable for nothing, not even a little tin of Tic Tacs. They just give it away for free. So when a man finds the rare gem of a woman that is worth um, being romantic for, going to war for, you know, clear. Imagine how busy Kevin is, or Kevin was, to clear his schedule for a week is incredible. Let's get it. Let's get it. I'm just inspired. Well, he opening doors for and, you and 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 taking you to the fragrance shops and the press <laughs> and bought you a place. Yeah. Okay. Go ahead. And then you know during during one of our conversations, he asked me how long it would take me um, to know if I wanted to marry someone, Ooh. and I said uh, about six months. And yeah. then that's when he mentioned that you know that he always wanted to you know remarry and have a son, like I told you, and okay. but that he was looking for somebody you know. Like me from the Lord of Watch. That's cool. That, that's a good lesson, fellas. So Godfather was a gentleman. He's opening doors. And and and, and I'm sure he probably carrying bags and, 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 and got you a whole place uh, away from his place just so you can have your own space. That's dope. I like that. I, that's classy. You know, and that's mm-hmm. that's what I yeah. like. Yeah, I like that. And, and then when I try to carry my things, he, you know, he would be like, no, he's like, give me that. He's like, you're not going to carry anything. So I thought that was, you know, really thoughtful and sweet. And mm-hmm. like I said, this is, this is the Kevin I knew, regardless of how people want to paint a picture of him. This, this is the truth. So what else? Mm-hmm. So what else? Y'all Team, do? I'm going to refresh my scotch. I'll be right back. Meeting, and y'all went uh, to the fragrance store. And what else did you do? Because this will be, this is technically his last day on earth, right? Yeah, so wow. we, he just showed me around. He was excited to show me the, you know, the shops around the area he lived in. We went out, you know, to eat at, at the little restaurant there. And he, he told, you know, and he just kind of wanted to show me how nice it was because I felt like he was trying to convince me, you know, to move there. So, um, and, and I really told him, you know, I really was surprised that uh, Atlanta was so green and it, it was just so, so, so beautiful. And I never had been, you know, I've never been to Atlanta. So, I kind of was letting him know, you know, I, I do think Atlanta is really nice and I might consider it, you know? Yeah. Yeah. That's cool. That's cool. So y'all had a good, you had food, you enjoyed yourself. Okay. Okay. Mm-hmm. Um, so what else? I mean, um, I, I mean, mean, he had told me like everything that he wanted to do that week, you know, I was supposed to be there for a whole week and he had all these things planned to like, go show me, you know, what Atlanta, like I said, what Atlanta had to offer and, 
and unfortunately that didn't happen but that's that's what he wanted so he had a you saying he had a whole week planned for you guys yeah he wanted me to stay a whole week oh wow wow okay so y'all had dinner whatever i you know what else did y'all do i see here's a you know i peculiar thing about kevin whenever i went out with him listen i never saw him drink anything disciplined you know? man and i remember having because you know i can throw him back you know what i mean i don't mind me too face, blizzard king you know what i mean that's what i like to do i like to drink and drink wine and eat and enjoy a lot but kevin never really drank did he ever tell you about i had my belief i thought it's because he had to kind of deal with cancer as a young man and that kind of freaked him out you know uh, did y'all talk about yeah. that at all? Yeah, we did. We talked about, you know, his history and how he had the, you know, Hodgkin's lymphoma. And I let him know that my best friend actually had went through that. And I, you know, helped her through that and, you know, made a a page for her to support her and everything. And they had, you know, they went through the same thing and we kind of connected on that. And I think ever since, you know, it, because he had that cancer, it, before he was aware of, you know, not drinking alcohol or mm -hmm. doing these things that would be bad for his health. And no, he never drank alcohol in front of me. He never told me about, you know, he told me he didn't really drink. I don't really drink, but I do like, you know, to have wine occasionally. Did you hear that? I don't really drink, but I like to have wine occasionally. <laughs> listen, listen, um, that's what you're looking for, y'all. That is what you're looking for. You want a woman that does not overindulge in alcohol. Oh my gosh, there is nothing worse. Nothing worse than a sloppy, drunk woman. There's nothing worse than it. Can't stand it. Can't stand it. Kevin didn't drink. She uh, liked her occasional wine. That's what you're looking for, wife. I'm telling y'all, Kevin... Walked it like he talked it. Shout out to Marlon Alvarez in the building. Said with the two dollar super chat says, "I came in late. Catch me up to speed, team. Uh, we're going over Dennis Sperling's exclusive interview with uh, Hortensia Alcantaras, uh, who is the young lady that spent the last day and last hours with Kevin Samuels uh, when he passed. So um, uh, I encourage you. I'm going to add a link to Dennis's full interview." Um, to the description when I'm done with the live stream. I encourage you to go over and watch the full thing there because he has a lot of extra commentary, but I kind of wanted to keep it to where it was digestible for us here. We still have about uh, 14 minutes left of this. So, um, but I encourage you to go watch it over there and everything. And I'm just offering my, my insight to that. So uh, thank you so much. I appreciate the love and support. Let's give you the twister. Let's get back at it. Yeah. But no, he never he never was the type of person to, to want to drink alcohol. I realize I forgot to put her picture up next to Dennis during this section. It comes back. I apologize. I told you I was editing fast, y'all. Let's go. Yeah, I, I, I yeah, he he didn't smoke cigarettes, he didn't smoke cigars. I smoke cigarettes. You know, he didn't drink, you know, the man was like a teetotaler, you know, and and I guess that's why like you know, I, I have most a lot of black men have a lot of cardiovascular issues that go unchecked. Facts. We uh it wasn't until my fiance made me take my butt to the doctor's office that I realized I had high blood pressure. You know? So men. I want to show you something. Kevin Samuels died on Cinco de Mayo, May 5th, 2022. I don't know what day of the week that was. But I know within the next week, I went to the doctor and I got a full physical overview. I normally do my physical in January, but I, I was just shocked I was worried about my own mortality and what Dennis said there is so freaking true of having a woman in your life um, 
that, especially as, as black men, because of some of the health risks that we have, that is focused on making sure that you're eating the right diet, that you're getting the right amount of sleep, that you're not overindulging in alcohol, which Labea um, never tells me no, but she'll give me kind of, she'll give me the look. She'll be like, are you sure you want that next, that fifth scotch? I'll be like, baby, yeah, baby, give it to me, yeah. But um, sometimes we can be our own worst enemy. But after learning that Kevin passed from hypertension, there's something I invested in. And I want to encourage all of you men, not just black men, all men of all ages to get one of these. So this is a, and it's not like sponsored or anything, but this is a, um, I'm going to show you this. This is a blood pressure monitor, okay? And I'm going to show you how it works. Let me take my watch off. Now, it's not the best. You know, the one that goes on the cuff on your arm is better than anything that you can have. But this is uh, better than nothing. So what I do is I'll put this thing on right here. Right. Hang on a second. And then it comes on like that. And if I hit start. See if we can do this right here, right now. Come on, Bobo, you got this. What's wrong with you, man? You remedial, bro. What's, you can't figure it out, dog. Well, are you retarded? So I put it on my wrist, and I hit the start. And you want to keep it up near about your heart level, right? So you want your arm up, kind of like around mid chest level, and it's squeezing my wrist right now. And we're going to take my blood pressure right here, right now, in front of everybody. Probably not the best thing in the world considering I'm on second scotch, but we're going to do this because men, we need to do this. We have a responsibility, especially if you have a wife, especially if you have children, um, to do the right thing, man, and make sure that we stay on top of our health. And I saw this with my pops with his battle with, uh, so I'm a little high right now. I'm at, what does that say? You can't see it. It's 129 over 85. Um, you're supposed to sit down for like 15 minutes. I took it earlier today. I was at 123 over 65. But um, let's check these blood pressures, fellas. And let's make sure we're staying on top of it. Make sure we're going to the um, the doctor and doing the things that we need to do. And uh, I need to start traveling with this as well. I wish I had this in the Philippines when I, when I was there. But um, just like Dennis says, we are in the fight so much and so hard you know, um, that we don't realize. And one of the things, and this is the beauty of the feminine amplifier. One of the things that um, we need to make sure that we do is that we take care of ourselves so we can take care of those that are under our purview. So shout out to Dennis and Dennis's uh, fiance for looking after him. For all of you fellas that have a good woman in your life that are looking out to you, shout out to those ladies. Shout out to my wife, Labea. I had to tell her to stop giving me. See, Labea, she loves me so much. She, she'll, she'll indulge me. She'll be like, go oh, ahead, yeah, Guapo. I know, you'll be all right. You know, she thinks I'm Superman. But um, uh, let's make sure that we're taking care of ourselves, man. So I highly um, encourage this. I was listening to a live stream with Candid Ann. Candid Ann is a, a nurse, and she talked about how uh, it is such a uh, high blood pressure is a silent killer. All of you guys, I think I paid, I don't think I paid 40 bucks for this. Get one of these fellas. Take your blood pressure at least once a day. Do it. I'm only 45. I'll be 46 next month. Damn, I'm getting old, dog. Damn, I'm about to be 46. Damn, dog, I'm about to be 40. Damn. It's like a kick to the chest. <laughs> Shout out to my main man, Theo Waff, in the building. Yeah. The dark side of the force is calling you. Theo Waff says, I uh, sent the $20 King's Ransom. Praise God. Says, where did you buy that? Yeah, I have heart problems also. Theo, I will send you a link. I got this off Amazon, man. 
I got this off Amazon. So, uh, but I'll find the one I I got. It's called Conquest with the K K O N Q U E S T, and uh, that's I got it off of Amazon, and it came like overnight. It came overnight. So, uh, uh, but I'll try to find the one I have, and I'll, I'll shoot you a text. I got your number. I'll shoot you a text and let you know. Um, which one I have, and it works good for me. I really, what I need to do, I need to go ahead and buy a second one um, and travel with it as well. So I always have like a, not a go bag for like if the apocalypse pops off, but if I need to travel right away, I have like a rollerboard with certain things in it. LaBea, make sure I, I, I have like certain things in it and I need to put this heart pressure monitor in it. Uh, blood pressure monitor in it as well. So I'll send it to you, Theo. But salute to you, man. You know what you get for that $20 holler, my friend. You've unleashed the Jericho Missile. Thank you so, so much, Theo. Fellas, get your blood pressure monitors. I don't have an affiliation with them or anything like that. But man, if Kevin had one of those. Get your blood pressure monitor, fellas. Excuse me. <clears throat> Shout out to non Comics in the building. The With the $2 super chat says, take vitamin B and D, ginger and veggies every day. So I'm vitamin D deficient. It happens this time of year, you know, during the winter. So my doctor put me on a vitamin D. Um, that's the sun vitamin, right? Um, don't. Uh, B, I think I do. I take a good multivitamin ginger i need to do and then veggies i try to do a kale shake or a good like raw spinach salad every day you know what i'm saying like in a big salad like this joan is big like spinach it'll have spinach uh labelle cut up little grape tomatoes in it uh i like the little feta cheese and then she'll normally uh give me like some grilled chicken breast or i'll do a can of um tuna from um uh the tuna and water not in oil so I'm trying, I'm trying to get I'm trying to get it down, man. I'm trying to get it down. But thank you so much, Nam Peril. I appreciate it, my friend. Incoming. Shout out to my brother Theo Waff in the building. Yeah. With the $10 super chat, praise God. Says I'm 51 on Wednesday and I'm still young as far as I'm concerned. You are young, man. I agree, man. Yo, happy birthday, Theo. That's what I'm talking about. Woo! Woo! Man, I got a birthday thing. I should have put it in here. Hang on one second. Let me put up, see if I, yo, I'm going to try to talk this through. I want to do this birthday thing for Theo, man. I think he'll like this. So if I go here and then I go here, bang. And then I go, uh, okay, I got that one. Um, let's try this. Let's try this. We're going to try this, Theo. I'm going to try to do this on the fly just for you because it's your birthday, man. <laughs> You're going to like this. Hang on. Hang on. Bop. Bop. And then we're going to go here. This is just for Theo. Er, let, me play, let me play a video for y'all. Hang on. Let me do that. Let me do that. And we're gonna get back to we're gonna get back to Dennis and Miss Alcantara. Let's do that. Shout out to Theo. Happy birthday, Theo. We live
Welcome to Freedom Papers Airlines. This is your captain speaking. Flight time today will be, it doesn't matter, because fit, feminine, and friendly women await you, along with more bang for your buck and a better culture. So sit back, relax, enjoy the ride, because passport bros, we out. Yeah, sorry about that, team. Let's see. Hey, everybody wish a happy birthday to Theo. Yeah. <laughs> Let's see if this button works. We're going to see if it works. Here we go. Tell us his birthday. And then tell him you don't give a fuck that it's his birthday. <laughs> Shout out to Dave Chappelle. Granny don't. <laughs> Everybody wish Theo a happy birthday. Yeah. One of the absolute pillars of, uh, of uh, beautiful lies, man. Happy birthday. Birthday, Theo. <laughs> We're having too much fun. I'm sorry, darkness. I was having too much fun. Tell us his birthday. And then tell him you don't give a fuck that it's his birthday. <laughs> Shout out to Theo. Yeah, man, Theo, man. I hope you have a fantastic 51, bro. What a milestone, dude. What a freaking milestone, man. I'm going to put Theo on the couch. Theo, I'm going to put you on the couch, but I'm not playing the couch until I'm after I'm done with this because I don't want to show too many dancing ladies, man. But salute to you, Theo. I appreciate you. Much love to you, my brother. You get the book nuke. Boom. Shout out to you, man. And then hold on one second. Let me make sure I got this right. I'm looking at this. I got too many windows open. And I think this is you. I think that's you. Gotta show my brother, yo. Gotta show my brother, yeah. Yeah! <laughs> it comes up as anonymous, but this is my brother, E. New, another one of Baltimore's finest. Big girl, big, big girl, big girl, big, big girl. Man, back in high school, I wanted to be E New when I grow up, man. Shout out, grew up. Shout out to E New. Salute to you, my brother. Says, we ain't getting old guap. We're distinguished. I know, bro. Listen, I'm gonna stop plucking these uh gray beard hairs. I'm gonna let it, I'm gonna let it rock out like Ed Reed, man. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm gonna let it rock out, man. But shout out to my brother E New, man. Much love to you, my friend. Glad to see you in the building. And you know, I appreciate your support, and so does Bartles and James. Thank you for your support. We've got how much time we got left in this? Are we halfway through? Oh, yeah, we're more than halfway through. Let's go ahead because we're at an hour and 42 minutes. We're good. We're going to finish this out in the next hour. Let's go. Let's go. You know, and um, mm -hmm. it was basically like a silent killer is what they call it, you know. And uh, Kevin and yeah. I are only about four or five years separated in, in age. And uh, it, it's just a trip. I didn't recognize it, the headaches and the waking up in the morning with headaches is probably from yep what's that called when you you, you sleep bad at night i forget what it's called sleep uh, apnea and, uh, I, I forget what it's called that um darn it i can't even remember the name of it but bottom line is that also increases your your propensity for cardio or heart attacks and it's something that is are you very, talking about say again i'm sorry are you talking about like sleep apnea sleep apnea that's it damn it Mm -hmm. that and, and along with the with the, the heart conditions and the high blood pressure something that yep. black american men have to deal with and i could only imagine having fought cancer at, at 20 something how really particularly he could have been about his health you know so uh but anyway i kind of went off on a tangent for a minute um what else no you're fine he did he did talk about that though how difficult it was for him to have the motivation to get up every morning because he felt so sick and he, you know, lost so much weight and mm. he just felt terrible, but he had to find some motivation to get up every day. And he Listen. told me that, you know, by wearing suits and, and you know, and, and, and feeling, you know, looking good made him get some motivation to wake up every day. Oh, wow. So, so basically getting up. Okay. So part of his motivation for going through and pushing forward. Cause I know the man was tired. I met the man. I met him a couple of times. I talked mm -hmm. to him a couple of times. 
Kevin Samuels was tired. And yeah. I've been a Fellas, how many of y'all is that the story of your life that you are perpetually tired? Let's get it. At that point before, I know, I know just how he is. You, you, it's a burden that black men, especially black American men carry that nobody understands other than black men who carry that same burden. And I know what it's like, you know, it's like you, no matter how high you rise, you still are looked at like you're no good N word, you know? Yep. And then there's the health issues and then you can never do enough. But anyway, mm -hmm. so what else did you guys talk about? But that's interesting that you let, let us know that part of his motivation to keep pushing was the fact mm -hmm. that he would get up and get dressed and you know, that was part of his, his, yeah. his thing, yeah. Yeah, and that's the reason he told me that he became an image consultant because that was so important for him to get through, you know, his cancer. Wow. Now that is something that you all did not know. That one of the things that caused Kevin to be able to get through his cancer battle, to get the motivation to go through chemotherapy, to deal with the weight loss. Man, I watched my pops do this, bro. My dad was 118 pounds when his prostate cancer was at its worst. 118. Now, my, my pops is not as tall as I am. I get my height from my mother's side of the family. Um, <clears throat> my pops is like 5'8", five, 5'9". Five, but for him to be 118, talk about emaciated. And I know that his incoming grandson, Guapito, was a big motivator. I know that um, his work, you know, my father is retired from the IRS, but he works his own tax business now, was a motivator because he likes to stay busy. Man, you've got to learn to use what motivates you. Kevin used getting dressed up, putting on his Tom Ford and his his dupe tech, shout out to the Blizzard King. <laughs> his diptyque uh, uh, colognes and stuff like that, man. Um, to get out there, fellas, I'm going to tell you one of the easiest, I'm talking the easiest things that you can use to motivate you. Jim1263 is about to find it out. He's about to take his trip in three weeks. Go over there. And get you a woof, get you a, a sniff of that femininity, that real pure, that uncut Colombian, Peruvian, Filipina, that uncut, that Archie Bunker. Get you a, it's like a, you know what I'm saying? It's, get you a little woof of that, yo. Get you a, a little whiff. Man, you will be working your butt off to get back to paradise. Woo! I'm telling you. And this is why I encourage travel. Go ahead and do you a line of that femininity. I shouldn't do it like that. Shame on you, El Guapo. Jail. But it's like that. It's like a D-rug. D-rug. Man, y'all ain't ready for it. Go ahead and... Take, you know, you take your little, I don't have my wallet in here, but you take your little, your little hundred dollar bill. Yeah, take you a hit of that femininity. You're going to be like, Whoa! yeah, buddy. Yeah, buddy. Wait till Jim, Jim 1263. I cannot wait till you come back. I cannot wait till you come back. Mm -mm -mm. But uh, team, don't do drugs. I'm just saying, but you take you a little hit of that. Change your life. Let's go. Um, and I told him, you know, that I was proud of him for pushing through because a lot of people just want to give up. And, yeah. and I told him, I just told him, you know, let him know that I was proud of him for, for doing that. Yeah. Yeah, that's... Uh... That's, 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 uh, 
Very interesting. You know, you never know a person's motivation. And, um, right. You know, it's just like you wish you could have talked to him another couple more times, you know, mm -hmm. that, that's my thing. I just, man, you know, but, um, anyway, so just let's finish, I guess, uh, this is, we're talking about his last day. So yeah. uh, what happened after that? Y'all guess y'all had dinner and then what? Had a nice dinner. Yeah, so he showed me around. We had dinner. And then that night he had a show that he was going to do. And, and Listen. I was going to show up at his place. But I was, you know, I arrived late because I'm always late to everything. <laughs> she was late. Always late for everything. <laughs> but she's fine, though, so she gets a pass. I'm telling you, look. Y'all think that all rules apply to all people? Y'all are fools if you believe that. She's fine, though. She gets a pass. And that's why typical, he started his show late. Woman, late. <laughs> and look, don't let her have shown up. You know how I say all the time, I look better than I smell? Boy, you know she came dressed to the nines for Kevin. This is... Okay, I shouldn't do this, but I'm going to do it. No, I'm not going to do it because it's not class. It's kind of class. Uh, it's Kevin F and Samuels. You think she didn't show up dressed to the nines? Bruh, if she smelled better than she looked, man. Woo! And, Woo! And, Woo! Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> When you look like that, weigh like that, act like that, smell like that, who freaking cares? Yeah. Woo! I know you don't like it, Umar. I sentence you to 500 lashes for conduct unbecoming a black man. Man, I'm telling you, yo. Oh, my goodness, man. I don't even want to get into it, man. I don't want to get into it, but I'm just telling you, I know what it's like. I know what it's like to be around a woman. Man, LeBay is like this, man. Yo, wait, wait till you find a woman that that actually takes the time and moisturizes and puts that. They used to have this thing back in the day called skin so soft. And she would tell you, hey, El Guapo, can you touch this? Do you think this stuff is working? And it's just, it's not oily, but it's silky. It's just a silky sleekness to her skin. Bruh. And she smells like a million damn dollars, bro. You don't give a good gosh darn it that she's late a few minutes. I don't think Kevin cares. Shout out to the Godfather. Yeah. Woo! That's my dog. My nigga. <laughs> Shout out to the Godfather. Man, oh man. I know he was amped, boy. Yeah. Let's see where we at. Where are we at? SMWH with the seven Canadian dollars in the building. <laughs> Says, can you put Theo on the couch for his birthday? Yeah, I'm going to do it right after uh, we uh, are done with the commentary with Miss Alcantaras and the Blizzard King himself. Shout out to you. Thank you so much, man. Let's give you the, uh, what have we not done? We have not done the smoke screen. <laughs> Shout out to Marlon Alvarez in the building with the $10 super chat says doing keto helped me get everything under control. It scared some doctors at first. I grew up in Medellin, Colombia. I remember you telling me that. So it broke my heart to not eat arepas, bruh, bruh. Almo Javanas. I don't know what that is. And empanadas when I wanted. Yeah, I get it. I get it. But you got we got to make these sacrifices to stay around for those that 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 need us, man. So I appreciate that honesty, man. Thank you so much, Marlon. Let's give you the upgrades. Shout out to Zeta's Nintendo in the building. With the $5 super chat says you just activated my trap card. I activate great live streams with this card in play. It allows men to keep coming back to fantastic content. Thanks, G. I like that, yo. Woo! You get a finishing move for that one, bruh. Shout 
Shout out to Jim1263 in the building. That's my dog. My nigga. <laughs> Tonight's stream sponsor hitting them with the daggone spear of destiny. Shout out to Jim 1263 says, don't worry, El Guapo. I'll be sending you updates and pics during the flight, man. I'm going to hold you to that. Please do, man. And let me know if you want to talk again before, you know, me and you, man, you know, let me know. Just we'll set up a time and um, I got to do some times for some other folks that are about to travel. You know, I don't want any money or anything like that, but let's do it, man. Let's do it. But, uh, yo, much appreciated, Jim. Thank you so, so much. Uh, and uh, I appreciate you being the stream sponsor with Dude, what is this, $105, $115 now? Salute to you. Thank you so, so much. You get the kamikaze. Shout out to Anonymous with the $5 King's Ransom. No question, no comment, just pure love of the game. <laughs> Shout out to Lead. Thank you so, so much. Excuse me. Sorry about that. Thank you so, so much, man, for the love and support. I appreciate it, my friend, with the $5 holler. Yeah. Woo! Salute to you. You get the, uh, let's give you the bang in the studio. Shout out to Sec Man in the building. This is your emergency broadcast system. With the $100 super chat. Weapons of class four and have been authorized for use during the purge. That's my dog. My nigga. Yeah. Salute to you, Sec Man, with the hundred dollars. Says thanks for maintaining respect on Kevin Samuel's name. For sure, man. I have no choice, man. I have no choice. The brother has done nothing but earn and garner nothing but respect, man. Nothing but respect. But bruh, coming out of nowhere like that, man. What's wrong with you? It was at this moment that he knew he fucked up. Shout out to Sec Man. Let's go. Brother, for you to come through so heavy handed, man, I don't even know what to say. What more can I say? That is so dope, man. That is awesome, bro. Thank you so much, man. Thank you so much, bro. Listen, you are the first runner up when it comes to the uh, the the sponsorship, man. I really appreciate the love and support. It's been a while since I've seen you around, too, man. And I would play the dancing girls and everything for you, but I'm trying to uh, respect Miss Al Al Alcantara's. Um, so after we're done with her segment, I'm going to play all the dancing girls and everything for you. But everybody drop a CEC in the chat yo thank you so much for the love and support yeah shoot program nigga let's go man we gotta give you something fly hold on one second we let you all right let me let you kick in the door like the swat team let's go here we go That's what I'm talking about, man. Let's nuke you out. Bang. And you know how we do. When we get it like that, man, we have got to get right back to the content. Let's get it. <laughs> so then I arrived to his apartment late. And, you know, when I got there, she was late. I didn't know his whole setup. So I just, you know, 
stayed in the in the corner of the room. I was doing, you know, I got my laptop. I started, you know, doing my my work. Uh, so it sounds like she showed up late after he started the live stream. That's what it sounds like, or like right when he was about to start. Let's go. On the laptop, and later I decided to get up, you know, get some water, and some that's water. when I accidentally walked in front of in front of one of his cameras. And that- Ooh, hoo, hoo. <laughs> can't do that, ma. That's the worst thing that you could do. That's when he stopped me, and I realized his setup. Oh, and- okay, 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 okay. Hold on, hold on. So this is the part where everybody was making a big deal because you're at yeah. all- Watch this. So I had not seen this. I had to dig, y'all. So Kevin Samuels, last live stream, I believe it was entitled Modern Woman Party of One. I'm a YouTube watcher. I watched it on YouTube. You know, Kevin would do his, you know, opening, his about 15-minute countdown. He would play his awesome playlist. He would end it with um, good lies as he came on camera. He was, you know, uh, name, city, all that stuff, gender. And then he would go into his monologue, and he would get going and everything. And he normally had some content that he would look over. But before he got to that, he would play Money World, and he had women that actually submitted the, the, he called them the Money World girls, or the Money World dancers, and they submitted dance videos, and he played one of these. One of the things that I did not realize was that Kevin was actually multi-streaming to Instagram. I never watched the Instagram. I had to dig, because I was like, whoa, I don't remember. I watched that stream live. I don't remember somebody walking in front of the camera. But team, take a look at this. This is wild. Look at that. Tell him to go get the water. You don't want to be on. I don't want you on there. Listen to what he said. I don't want you on there. We're gonna get into that. There it is. I'm trying to protect you. Pay attention, y'all. Listen. Okay, I'm about to get back on camera. Just get wherever you're gonna get to, so. She's so cute. Listen, man, you can hear, can you all hear her heels? Click it across the floor, and she's like, I'm sorry. Did you hear this? Listen. You got it? Okay. All right. Yo, I had never seen that. I had never seen that. I'm so glad she told this story. So I looked for it, and it was not easy to find that ish either, man. But I had never seen that, yo. Let's go. This is it, it, it's getting good now. Hortensia, so tell us the story. We're here with Hortensia Oops. Alcantara. She's the last person with Kevin Sammons before he went on to. I think uh, I put her picture back up now. Before he passed on, so there was this big deal about this image of you in his live stream. Right. Go ahead and tell yeah. us about what happened. So I I was getting my work, you know, on, on the corner of the room, and then I got up to get some water. But I, since I had gotten there late, I hadn't, you know, he hadn't explained his setup to me. So I walked, accidentally walked in front of one of his cameras, and that's when he, you know, suddenly stopped me. And I realized that, I realized the setup. And so I honestly thought he was recording from the camera on his computer and there was another camera by his Isn't desk. that cute? To a content creator, isn't that cute? She's record, he's recording from the camera on his computer. Never that. <laughs> Never. <laughs> Let's go. That's cute. 
but you know it wasn't to me it wasn't like a huge deal like everybody was making it seem because even after he finished his video he told me he wasn't upset that he was just trying to protect me and because he knew how nasty people could be and, and didn't want that for me facts yo facts and this is the thing Ooh, ladies, you're not going to like this. You being female in and of itself in today's day and age is not enough to warrant protection. You have got to be worthy of protecting. I know you don't like it. I know that is harsh. Sparkle, sparkle. That's high roll. I'm just keeping it real, y'all. This is one of those things. You all have put yourself in such a precarious situation that men, for the first time in history, yo, how do y'all... Bring it in, y'all. Group hug, nigga. Come on, Craig. How did y'all mess this up so bad, ladies? Let me turn the lights out so nobody can hear us. Shh. Okay. It's just me and you in here right now. Listen. Uh, how did y'all mess this up so bad that men are not even willing to protect you anymore? Wow, that is an epic fail. <laughs> I gotta tell you the truth, like you have really screwed the pooch on this, ladies. You've really messed this up. You have sworn up and down that you don't need any protection, you don't need this and you don't need that and you're better than this and you're uh, more worthy than that and they're just over and over and over again. And I don't like having the conversations with the ladies at this point because I don't believe you'll listen. But for the possible one, out there that might be listening and willing to change. Yo. We are men. Pay attention, ladies, pay attention. We are men. It is inherent within us to protect the things that we deem valuable. Doesn't matter how you try to spin it. It doesn't matter how you try to justify it. Through our biological imperative, we will discern what is valuable and ultimately as men, we will protect it. I know that hurts your feelings. I know you wanna be like, hey, El Guapo. Shut the fuck up! But the truth is, what it is, and you're going to have to deal with it. The bottom line is, in the moment Kevin Samuels saw this young lady putting herself in a dangerous situation, and although she may not have realized the danger that she was in, he stepped in. You saw his reaction. No, 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 no. To try to keep her off camera because he was more in tuned with and understanding of the danger that could befall her. Fellas, how many times have you? Oh my gosh, let's do this bullshit. This, uh, let's do this. This is y'all are really not going like this. Uh, buckle up, team. Buckle up. I might have to take this jacket off. Shout out to my main man, Sneak623 in the building. With the $20 super chat, praise God. Sneak623 says, we want the Jerry Curl missile, man. Listen for that $20, Holly. You know what you've unleashed. You've unleashed the Jerry Curl missile. <laughs> Shout out to Sneak623, bang. Salute to you, my friend. Thank you so, so much, man. Thank you so much. Listen. 
I don't want to have to come up out this jacket, man. Because we're talking about Kevin. Oh, buddy. You ladies have really, really painted yourself into a corner. You have put yourself in a situation where you will be given no quarter from anybody. You have made yourself. I don't know if I can say this phrase, but I'm going to say it. You've made yourself so unattractive to the heteronormative male by being masculine. Listen, ladies, spoiler alert. Most men aren't gay and are not attracted to masculine properties in a woman. Fellas, how many times have you all been out with a woman and something's about to pop off, right? Oh my gosh, drop me, okay, what are we at? I did six and seven, I did five and six. Drop me a seven, a seven, if this has ever happened to you. Drop me an eight, if you're like, oh, El Guapo, you're capping. I don't know what the hell you're talking about. You're like, hey, El Guapo. Why the fuck you lying? Why, Why you always lying? Listen, you ever been out, you see a dangerous, with a woman, you see a dangerous situation. And you tell that woman, yo, go do something like, yo, go wait outside or go get in the car or yo, get behind me or something like that. And then the woman is like, why? Bruh. Let me explain something to you ladies. The second you pull that dumb shit, we're done trying to protect you. It's L City for you, ma'am. Serdade Pergida, City of Loss in Portuguese. I remember one time, I was young too, man. I was maybe 21, 22. And I was home from the military. And my stepdad and my mom came to pick me up. And we're driving back. And my stepdad's like, hey, I need to make a stop. And he goes and stops and runs into the store. It's me and my mom. And we're in Capitol Heights, Maryland. If th those of you all that know Capitol Heights, you know the Capitol Heights can be a little touch and go, right? Capitol Heights is kind of kind of hood. You know what I'm saying? And I'm in the front seat. I'm tall. My mom is in the back. My stepdad was taller than me. And um, I can't remember if it was due begging or something like that. And um, I don't remember exactly what happened, man. But we were in the car. We're waiting. And I look back in the back seat. And there's some dude at the window where my mom is. And I jumped out the car and my mom got out the car too, bro. <laughs> and I'm telling you, in a split second, I'm looking at dude. We're sizing each other up. And I said to my mother, this is the most disrespectful thing I've ever said to my mother. I was like, Mom, get your ass back in the car. You know what my mom did? She got her ass back in the car. You know why? Because my mom is a woman first. Yay. If my mom, even my mother, would have been like, who the hell you think you talking to? I can't, listen, I can't protect what I can't protect. I can't protect what I can't correct. I couldn't have protected my mom 
if I couldn't have corrected her and said, yo, get out of this dangerous situation. So how many times have you been with women that once you in the moment, in the heat of danger to explain so that they can have some semblance of understanding why you are pulling them out of a dangerous situation. I say this, I've said this to my first wife, I said it to my second wife, I say it to my current wife, I say it to my daughters, I say it to my mothers. Guess what? When it comes to your safety, I don't give a fuck about your feelings. Bars. And I mean that with all that I love and all that I stand on. When it comes to your safety, fuck your feelings. Do what I say, we'll figure the rest out later. Period, point blank, end of sentence, end of conversation, I'm done. If I have to, in the moment, explain to you the danger of a situation, you need to get the hell away from me. I don't care who you are. You could be my mom or my daughter. Get out of my face. If I tell you to do something in a dangerous situation and you don't just do it, I shall leave you to your own devices for the rest of your life, including my daughters. I mean that shit. I mean it. So to hear Miss Alcantaras apologize as she's skirting back through Kevin's studio and say, I'm sorry, means the world. Shout out to her. Computer and there was another camera by his desk. Mm. But, you know, it wasn't, to me, it wasn't like a huge deal. Like everybody. Because you don't understand the danger that you're in, but you respected the man that you were with enough to abide by what he said. And I really, really like that. Shout out to her. He was making it seem because even after he finished his video, he told me he wasn't upset that he was just trying to protect me and yep. because he knew how nasty people could be and, and didn't want that for me. Right. And that's one of the reasons why he kept his family so private. And I agree with Kevin 110% on this. Listen, I got a pretty wife. I literally call her the pretty. I have extremely good looking kids. I could make a ton of money if I put my wife and kids on this channel. I could make a ton of money, but I got to protect them from the dregs of society that are out here and exist. Just like Kevin protected his mother and his daughter, even his ex-wife. Kevin protected all the women that he was dating, and not all, but we never heard about him dating anybody. Do you understand that? I don't mean that the wrong way. I don't mean like all the women, like he was dating a, dating a plethora of women. I'm not saying that, but let's go. Yeah. He actually thought it was, he, yeah, he thought it was actually funny because he's like, you know, these people that don't like me are always calling me gay and always insulting me. And now they're, you know, they're going to be wondering why there's a woman in the video. <laughs> <laughs> why? So let's, let's, let's analyze that a little bit. So you, you had come over from your place because you were, you were, mm -hmm. I, I, he had got you somewhere else to stay near him across the street, I think he said. Classy move. And so you were late. <laughs> Typical female, late. Shout out to you being know. late. God, you late. That's all right. I'm going to deal with you. And so you showed up late. So you had to kind of, what, stay in the corner. Oh, so you couldn't really pass through the room, I guess. I don't know the setup, but you couldn't pass through the room without being seen. And he had always. Yeah. Okay. Go ahead. Yeah. So there was there was some space and, you know, behind the camera, but there was like a, I forgot if there was like a table or something there. So that's why uh -huh. I went that way. But, you know, I didn't realize it until I was, you know, in half the frame. And, mm -hmm. and so what, what, what did he say when, uh, what did he say when you, when you popped in his little camera? He's like, no, he's like, please stop. <laughs> like he was, he, he was like, no, 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 no. <laughs> Shout out to the Godfather. Shout out to TGF Diesel in the building with the $10 Super Chat. Praise God. Says we're stepping over the ungrateful women like Allen Iverson. That's what I'm talking about. Says salute El Guapo. Great content, sir. Qualpa. I don't know what Qualpa means. Qualpa. Qualpa. I like that, though. But I appreciate it, my... My friend, thank you so, so much uh, for the $10 super chat. Let's give you, what have we not do? Oh, let's go suborbital on that ass. Pause. And 
and boom! What's up, Orbital? Let's go. Shout out to your boy, Ko, becoming a new team member. Yeah! <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. Woo! That's my dog. My nigga. <laughs> let's get it. Welcome to the team, and let's go. I think he was, like I said, he was just scared that he just didn't want me on video because he told me, like, you just don't understand how these people are. Like, right. they will tear you apart, you know, for no reason. And, like, I, I didn't really understand what he meant, you know, until this happened. Yeah, yeah. Um, they're pretty vicious, you know, and it, it takes somebody with a certain mentality. Kevin and I dealt with these folks differently. Kevin ignored the haters. I attack the haters because, mm -hmm. you know, I, I enjoy it. Like, they want to fight, I'll fight with them. I enjoy it. I hate to say this, but I agree with Dennis. You got to attack a bully. You can't just sit back and take it. But that's just me. And, and it's probably not the right thing, but that's what I believe in. And, you know, I, I have the advantage because I know who they are and how to get to them, you know, and they don't know too much about them. I'm, I'm pretty hard to hit. And when they do, they still got to deal with these these hits that are coming back. Kevin was different than I was. You know, right. he's different. He's a he was a different kind of person. Um, and so I, I see why he would want to protect you because he's done the same. Did you hear that? I see why he would want to protect you because she is worthy of protecting. Woo! They're not gonna. Modern women aren't gonna like that. Dennis, shout out to the modern women. Big girl. Big big girl. Let's go, you know, look, the, uh, their education and all that shit is going to keep them safe. Because when I die, buddy, you know what's going to keep me warm? That's right, those degrees. Let's go. Thanks for his mom. You know his mom didn't even know he was famous? Did you know that? Mm, honestly, I didn't. I, I felt like he had to mentioned it one time. Like, mm. he's like, well, my mom's kind of like, you know, a small town, you know, lady. She just kind of keeps herself and oblivious obviously to to the fact of like who he was but i feel like that's us midwestern people right. kind of keeping to ourselves <laughs> and, and and then a lot of people um a lot of people they don't even know there's some young lady on the internet that's wearing these glasses that's pretending like she's kevin samuel's daughter and people don't even know mm -hmm. what kevin samuel's daughter's looking look carly russell loser type chick <laughs> lame ass like so they think whoever this young lady is is his daughter he's like that that like that she's a kind of like a light brown skinned young lady kevin samuel's daughter is a dark skinned young girl you know mm -hmm. but they don't even know what she looks like so i could see why he would want to keep you safe but uh but anyway so what happened after that you you accidentally passed through the through the uh through the camera and and, and what what was what did he say then yeah, so, you know, like I told you, he told me that he just wanted to protect me, that he didn't yeah. want, you know, what people could, he said people could attack him all day and he could, he could take that, yeah. but he didn't. Ladies, I submit to you that maybe all y'all aren't worth protecting. Sprinkle, sprinkle. Don't get mad at the messenger. I'm just saying, if you've been out here for the streets, known in the streets, you are notorious in these streets. You are the streets. Um, favorite people, maybe, just maybe, since you have not preserved anything that's sacred to you, we shouldn't stand in the gap and put ourselves at risk uh, when it comes to the stuff that you do. <laughs> Don't get mad at us. Sprinkle, sprinkle. That's high roll. Let's go. They want that for me. Yeah. Um, because he knew, he knew, he probably knew how stressful and everything, you know, all that was. But after, you know, after his show, um, when he was done recording, we started watching one of his favorite shows, um, which is called The Island, you so, know. So and shout out to The Island. <laughs> Kevin did a whole show on that. Y'all remember The Island, man? Golly, man, this show makes me miss him. And I, no pause, man. I miss the brother, man. I really miss the brother, yo. Damn, thank you, Sne Sneak, for having, for I can change the subject. Shout out to my main man, Sneak623 in the building. Woo-hoo with the $2 super chat. 
says never asked what flavor was uh it was el guapo listen i'm drinking uh i think it's deanston deanston scotch today i picked it up uh it was on sale it was 40 bucks for the bottle i've had it before i'm a fan of it i like i like deanston hmm. shout out to my main man sneak 623 in the building much love to you, my friend. Just because it's you, man. Let's give you a finishing move. All right. So, no, it's not Scotch number three. It's number two. I'm not doing number three. We're honoring Kevin tonight. Um, so I can't. I can't be. I can't be slurring up here. I don't want Dennis to be like, I would get the call tomorrow from the Blizzard King, man. Shout out to the Blizzard King. Like El Guapo, uh, I gave you permission to use this and you went off the rails. That's why I'm not showing the dance of girls or anything right now. We're going to show them afterwards. We're, how much time do we have left? We have we're almost there. We have uh, like three minutes. That's it. And I owe Jim dancing girls. I owe sex dancing girls. I owe Theo dancing girls for his birthday. You know what I'm saying? But let's go. Your show. Okay, okay, hold on a minute. I wanna so mm -hmm. you finished y'all ate dinner, you went you went back to your place, and then you came back over, he was doing the show, and then mm -hmm. you said y'all were watching something. So this is late in the evening. This is his last evening with us. Anyway, so um now we're getting down to the last few hours, uh wow. Potentia, you know. Mm -hmm. So um he finished his show, and then you were telling us he was watching. Uh, um, Y'all were watching. The See, this is what happened. She, the lights went out because it's late. Alexa, turn on studio. You know what's been messing up, too? Alexa's been turning off my dag on front yard. Alexa, turn on front yard. Alexa, turn on front yard. This lady's been turning off my uh, my exterior lights, too. I need to dig into the app. But, uh, sorry about that. You see, I turned it off. It's not even that late. What time is it? Oh, my watch stopped. Oh! Yo, I thought it was like 1230. Look at this. Can y'all see that? I thought it was like 1230, but my watch stopped. Yo, it's 135? Bruh, what am I doing? <laughs> I love y'all, man. I love y'all, man, because I didn't even realize. I, I didn't even think it was 1 o'clock. Oh, my gosh, it's 135. I got a haircut at 945 tomorrow or today. All right, my bad. Let me put the watch back on because it looks good. My watch stopped. Dag on it. I didn't even notice. What the heck is going on here? Let's see, 135. All right, it's ticking now. <laughs> I didn't realize it was this late. I didn't even know it was one o'clock, man. Is yo somebody say I gotta wind up the Timex? Yeah, I got I, I'm cheap, bro. I'm cheap. You know I'm broken dusty. We dusty over here, baby. Sprinkle, sprinkle. I'm dusty to the mug, man. Shout out to uh, Shira Seven. Trying to be like her when I grow up. Anyway, let's go. Well, tell us what happened then. So we were watching The Island, which was one of his, his favorite shows. The Island? And then... Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. And he liked nature shows, which is weird because he didn't, you know, like anything outdoors. <laughs> I, I told him I thought that was weird because I'm a very outdoors person. I love the but outdoors he to too. <laughs> I'm not into snakes, man. I, I I'm not into snakes, but I like the outdoors. Like for real, for real. Um, I can sit outside all day. Um, and I really want Guapito to be an Eagle Scout, man. People clown Boy Scouts and Eagle Scouts. Yo, them cats. You know, I learned all of my land navigation for combat survival training from my boy Sean, who was an Eagle Scout here from Damascus, Maryland. Shout out to Sean, man. He's my roommate. When that broad came to try to uh, pop me in my room because she caught me cheating on her, Sean had, uh, he was on the combat pistol team. Con you remember the, <laughs> completely random. 
You remember the uh, old tower computers? Not the ones that we have now, like nice gaming computers. And they had the compartments in the front for the drives. Man, I told Sean, I was like, Sean, I got popped, yo. I was like, look, this shorty is coming over here because they found out about the gymnast shorty. Sean was like, man, Sean's like five foot seven, slim white dude, man. That's my dog, though, man. That's my dog. My nigga. <laughs> Sean was like, yo, who won it? Sean popped out one of them plates of the uh <laughs> of his tower because we got issued computers at the Air Force Academy. Man, he reached his hand in there, pulled out a 45. I was like, damn. Woo! I was like, bro, I ain't playing. And we are not supposed to have firearms in our room. Woo! Sean was like, man, bump the armory. I, I'm I'm protecting us. I was like, Sean, I was like, can you go to another room for tonight? And let's just not be here. He's like, man, he's like, look, who want it. I was like, no, Sean, no. <laughs> I was like, don't do it, dog. Granny, don't. <laughs> Shout out to Sean. Shout out to Sean, yo. Sean, Sean was the dog. Sean is one of the most deadly dudes I know. A short, skinny, white dude from Damascus, Maryland. I would not mess with him. Today, I wouldn't mess with him. I know I outweigh Sean by like 100 pounds. I would not mess with the dude, man. Deadly. He was on the combat pistol team. I'm telling you, man, he was not playing. He was not playing. Where were we? I'm sorry. I forgot what we were talking about. I'm sorry, Darkness. I was having too much fun. Wide nose having motherfuckers. <laughs> I'm sorry, man. I shouldn't, have, I shouldn't have played that. We're almost done with this. We're talking with Miss Alcantaras. Let's go. So let me. So let me. So he he liked watching out. Okay, I, run that by me again. Tell me again what you were saying. So he liked to watch outdoors shows like mm -hmm. the Island or you know other outdoors shows, but he didn't like outdoors activities because <laughs> he didn't like the heat. <laughs> so he liked watching outdoorsy shows, but he didn't like going outdoors. Mm -hmm. Damn it. <laughs> yeah, so he's kind of like living <laughs> living through them. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Vicariously. Yeah, but you know, it's hot down there. It's hot down south. It's it is hot like in the mug, bro. Atlanta, mm -hmm. Georgia, right right about now, Atlanta, Georgia, Houston, Texas, anywhere along Alabama, Mississippi, it's hot. I can see why he wouldn't want to go outside. Um, but okay, so then so so tell us y'all watching the island, okay. And and that is that the show where the women and the men are separated and they have to compete or something like that? It is. Y yes, I think he put like uh, one of those episodes where it was like men versus women on an island mm. and like see who who can survive better, you know. And that's his kind of just commenting on it. And I just you know let him do his thing and watch the show. <laughs> I just let him do his thing and watch his show, <laughs> ladies. At least tell us the beautiful lie. At least feign interest in what we are interested in. Man, LaBea did this, and I knew she was doing this. My second wife did this too, man. They, they would sit there and they would act like they cared about these video game trailers and all this stuff that I cared about back in the day and all this stuff. And they really didn't care what they cared about me, but the fact that they showed interest in what I cared about meant a lot. And at least, yo, if I got to if I got to drink the Kool-Aid, if I got to drink the Kool-Aid. Cheers, team. Woo! If I got to drink the Kool-Aid, at the very least, sell me the beautiful lie. Don't sit there and talk ish to me and tell me I'm terrible and stuff like that. Sell me the beautiful lie. Give me the beautiful one. You know, give me the lie that looks like this. And I'm not saying she's a liar, but I'm just saying, man, sell me the lie that's attractive. I don't want my lies coming with BBLs, lace fronts, raptor nails, and then uh, CU umbrellas for eyelashes. That's not what I want. I don't want 200 pound lies. Give me 130 pound lies. Did you hear me? Give me 130 pound lies, fam. Let's go. But no, Guapo. Let's go. A Guapo's comedic timing is off. Let's get it. So what else happened then after that? Y'all watched the show. 
then what? Yeah, so so we were watching the show, and then after that, you know, that's when we fell asleep, and then that's when everything, you know, just spiraled. So that early morning is when Kevin, you know, went into what I believe was cardiac arrest. Team, um, that is part one of the uh, interview with, with Miss Alcantaras. Once again, shout out to the Blizzard King. Dennis, thank you so much for letting me use this. Um, I'm going to uh, do a part two on the Cinco de Mayo, the last day Kevin was on Earth and everything for the few hours. And what a harrowing story. So my plan is to do that later tonight. Um, it is already Tuesday here. But uh, I am so encouraged from the fact that Kevin was riding high, man. He was happy about life and things that were going on for him. And it's a beautiful thing to be encouraged about a relationship. I don't give a damn what any of these red pill dudes say. All these so-called stone cold, you know, all this stuff and have turned their hearts against women. Man, listen, relationships are awesome when they come in the right form. Marriage is a beautiful thing when it comes in the right form. And um, a lot of these guys don't know what the hell they're talking about. So. I owe you all when it comes to uh, all of these detractors, all of these haters sitting here talking all that ish, like, oh, you know, you know, you don't have to do this and you can do it like that. And he doesn't know what he's talking about. And let me blow out his candle. And I think mine will shine brighter. You know, you could tell them, guess what, yo, you can. Shut the fuck. But for real, for real, here's the beautiful thing. Here's the beautiful thing. Once you travel, once you've gone overseas and you've taken that. <laughs> that good hit. Where, let me go get a hundred dollar bill. Hang on a second. Let me see if I got a hundred dollar bill. Hang on. Let me play the thing for you. Blazer, man. I actually had a hundred dollars, man. Normally, my girls after the weekend comes, I, I ain't got no cash, but uh, we normally play Monopoly for money, right? So, you take your hundred dollar bill like this, you know what I'm saying? Shout out to the lead attorney, the lead attorney taught me this. If you don't know who I am, mucho gusto. 
Allegedly, that's slander and libel. I'm joking. I'm joking, y'all. I'm joking. That's jokes. It's jokes. Jokes and jokes and jokes and jokes. So you get your you get your you get your hundred dollar. Your hundred dollars are like this, right? And you just you just take it like this and you go. <sighs> yeah, and get that femininity, that good hit of femininity, baby. Get that good hit of femininity, boy. Woo! Woo! I blame the lead attorney. <laughs> lead attorney taught me all about that RG bunker, that uh that pure uh white uh femininity. Shout out uh shout out to the uh white femininity. What are having some good old fashioned pancake butt? Shout out to the good white femininity. Archie Bunker. But yeah, team. So uh shout out to my main man. Theo Waff in the building, man. Yeah. <laughs> Coming into his 51st birthday. Praise God. We're gonna let him stretch out in the in the studio, man. Why don't I stretch out? Nigga. Yeah, everybody tell Theo happy birthday. Tell us his birthday. Then tell him you don't give a fuck that it's his birthday. <laughs> shout out to Theo, man, and shout out to tonight's stream sponsor. Let's get it. You motherfuckers will be playing basketball in Pelican Bay. My main man, Jim, 1263 in the building. Yeah. Woo! Shout out to Jim, man. Jim, I appreciate you so much, bro. Uh, and I don't know how to quite express it, but I'm going to tell you something, bro. You are better than most. And uh, one of the things that I know for sure is that guess what, bro? You uh might have triggered my trap card. You triggered my trap card! is three weeks out from going and uh, listen jim's going look jim i know you don't do this this is el guapo and then lead attorney shout out to lead attorney allegedly if you don't know who i am mucho gusto. The lead attorney allegedly speculatively might have told me a little bit about that uh that mexican um uh beautiful <laughs> femininity you, you can't do this don't don't look Oh God, femininity! <laughs> El Guapo, no! You're going to jail tonight. No, El Guapo, that's a shame, shame, son, shame on you. But yo, 
Shout out to you, Jim1263. I appreciate you, man. And much love to you, sir. Please keep us posted. Let us know how things are going, man. And we are rooting for you, my dog. We're rooting for you. Much love to you, bro. Peace. Let's see. We got Jim six two three uh twelve sixty three. We got look. look oh, uh, who else do we got? We got Sec Man, yo. We got Sec Man in the building, man. Shout out to Sec Man. Now look, Sec Man. Listen, listen. You know, you uh, came in as our runner up tonight, man. Uh, when it comes to the stream sponsor. Whoa! But I'm going to tell you something, man, the stream sponsor and the runner up, man, you guys run in tandem. You're together, man. You're together. You're in united front. And I'm going to tell you something. One thing that Jim knows, Jim, let me explain something to you. And sec men will, 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 uh, concur on this. This is important. Pay attention, pay attention. When you get over there and you see the other side and how the world works, you're going to sit back. You're going to be like, damn, damn, dog, damn. I didn't realize it was like this. What happened, baby? What's going on? Why is everything so wonderful over here and everything back home is some bullshit? Why? You're going to be like, why is everything over here jingling and jangling? <laughs> Jingling, jangling, jingling, and jangling. It's going to be awful. And then you're going to sit back and you're going to have your villain origin story moment. Shout out to the village in the village in villain origin not village in orin villain origin shout out to daddy sippy cup you see that daddy's sippy cup shout out to daddy sippy cup blame guapito but you're gonna have your villain origin story remember the joker remember the joker laugh You're gonna think you're crazy, y'all. You're gonna think you're insane. And you're gonna get into that Joker laugh mentality. And suddenly, you're gonna stop caring about the big girls. Big girl, big, big girl, big girl, big, big girl. And you're gonna be like, you know what? El Guapo, Jim 1263, 48 Laws, Nonpareil Comics, Theo Waff, Sec Man. Let's all be Hoochie Daddies. Ain't nobody hoochie daddy. Correct, correct. Hoochie daddy. <laughs> oh boy. It's time to end the stream. We're having too much fun. We're having too much fun. Can't do this is what happens when you give black people money, yo. They said another gave you niggas money! You don't know how to act. Why nose having motherfuckers? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not on one. Can we have some fun, man? We were very respectful. Shout out to the Blizzard King. Shout out to Dennis Sperling. Shout out to uh, Miss Alcantaras. I appreciate it, man. I appreciate uh, you coming through and being so candid and everything. But we wilding now. We talking about uh, these. Hey. The Latinas is winning, aren't they? Team, tell the truth. Are they winning? I think the Latinas are winning. though. With a close second being the Filipinas in the ties, but the Latinas 
are winning. Yeah, let's go. Y'all got Umar mad in the mug, bro. I better not find out your ass was swimming in the milk. Y'all got everybody mad. My God, Bill, don't touch it. Look at all that meat. It's superfluous. <laughs> Woo! 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 <laughs> All right, this is only second scotch. There will not be a third. Here's the problem. It's I thought it was freaking not even 1 a.m. And y'all got me in here uh, swimming in the milk. I sentence you to 500 lashes for conduct on becoming a black man. Shout out to the milk. That was the skim milk. Shout out to the whole milk. Shout out to the cream. Something's wrong with y'all. Y'all, y'all, look. Hey, hey. Hey, I know what you're doing. You guys need to calm down. What are having some good old fashioned pancake butt? <laughs> oh, you bunch of hoochie daddies. Ain't nothing but a hoochie daddy. Team, this has been awesome. So let me go ahead and get out of here so that I can be ready for tomorrow do it you guys are overdosing on milk yeah calm down man what's wrong with y'all <laughs> Something is wrong with you something's wrong with you something is wrong with you stop looking at pale cheeks. Shame on you. Shame on y'all. Well, team, I know a lot of you out there are like, look. I volunteer as tribute. But I want you to go about it the right way. So today is what, the 26th? My birthday is April 20th, 420, National Smoke Day. Also, the birthday of Mr. Dolph Littler of Germany. Also, Luther Vandross, less than a month away. So what I'm going to do tomorrow, if I can remember, is um, I want to make sure that you all um, put yourselves in the best situations to win. You know, I'm very protect protective of my time and stuff like that, but I'm going to give you a discount on consultations. I'll do it tomorrow. 
I'll give you $200 off the hour and $200 off the half hour. That'll bring it down to 350 and to 200. Um, but, um, and I'll run it through my birthday. So I want you guys to win. If I can save just one of you, if I can help to aid in one of you, um, getting to the place that you want to be and be with the type of woman you want to be and live your life and have a great time and, you know, and, uh, do awesome stuff. I volunteer as tribute. And not be a pookie. <laughs> For the record, MTR is not a pookie at all, but that shit is funny, isn't it? Let's get it. MTR is my dog. Shout out to MTR. Mediocre tutorials and reviews. My nigga. <laughs> Back in here. <laughs> Shout out. That's my G right there, man. But yeah, man. But uh, yeah, team, I, um, I want you guys to win. I'm going to discount my, uh, my consultations for just under a month. And um, get them while you can. Uh, this is the last year I'm doing consultations, bro. Uh, that's it. I'm done. I'm done. Did I miss the super chat? Oh, I did miss the super chat. Thank you so much. Hang on one second. Let me get it. Let me get it. Zeta's Nintendo in the building. <laughs> With the $2 super chat. Praise God. Says Theo trigger my trap card. Happy birthday. Yeah. Happy birthday to Theo. I feel guilty every time I watch that clip. Let's do it again. <laughs> Theo, Theo, stay away from all that meat. My God, Bill, don't touch it. Look at all that meat. It's superfluous. Better have some good old-fashioned pancake butt. Happy birthday, Theo! Tell us his birthday. And then tell him you don't give a fuck that it's his birthday. <laughs> Shout out to Theo! Yes, that girl is from Brazil, Charles. Yes, that girl's from Brazil. Thank you so, so much. Zeta's Nintendo in the building. Bang! You guys, get your minds out of the gutter, man. You guys, get the minds out of the gutter, man. Listen, you've had too much fun. We've been there. We've said it all. What does Howard Stern say? We've done it all. We've said it all. Salute to you all. I appreciate it. You guys don't know what to do with your money. You keep giving it to me. They said it's not a game, you niggas, money! You're a bunch of undisciplined heathens. Wide nose having motherfuckers! I appreciate the love and the support, man. And uh, listen, shout out to Miss Hortensia Alcantaras for uh, being brave enough to come in here and just uh, dunk on these ladies. <laughs> Team, I hope I've done my part. I hope I've convinced you to go and to get your passports and just go see the world to be a better global citizen. It's not about the women and all that stuff. The women is a plus. Don't get it twisted. It's a plus. But that's not why I want you to do it. But fellas, you should be dancing your way to the passport office by now, man. Bros headed to the post office after they finally decide to get their passports.
Sparkle, sparkle. And they wonder why they're losing. <sighs> My God, Bill, don't touch it. Look at all that meat. It's superfluous. Dog, I know I, uh-uh. Bros headed to the post office after they finally decide to get their passports. Better having some good old fashioned pancake butt. Well, I wish you all the best. I thank you all for joining me. Um, God bless you all. God bless the passport bros. Team, I appreciate y'all. I love y'all. It's been real. It's been fun. And we'll see you on the next one. El Guapo, out. <laughs> oh, shit, wrong button. Fuck! <laughs> El Guapo, out. <laughs>